All right, Dell. What do you do? Oh, we're doing this before. Okay, can we? Uh, all right, can we set the scene? Yeah, sure. Uh, when last we met, for Kato and friends retake the stolen lands, and I have a lot of games. Uh, in a dining hall in a newly built Hell Knight Citadel, the food lavish, the wine of a fine vintage. The sun burns on Tommy's face as I look in my webcam and see that I'm like four different shades now. I I did it, team. I really did. The wine of a fine vintage, the former friend strapped to a wall. Cato, if you execute Amalia in front of your in front of at least Calera Artoris, Megaris Varn, the rest of the assembled Hell Knight execution team, which more almost looks like just the servants and like higher ups that have come to take dinner and revel in what's about to happen. The Hell Knights will be more than happy to assist Concordia in finding Bordecai. Damn, I did it again, son of a Protestant whore. Oh. In finding well, you're you're gonna learn his name in like five Write minutes. Write that anyway. writing that down. <laughs> his name is so dumb, it just sounds like a bad 1980s like science fantasy villain. Finding him and whatever else you might need, maybe they'll come recruit for me. People, who knows? What do you do? So Kato pauses for a moment, taking taking in a deep breath, looks over to the prisoner. What is? How is she currently secured to the? So she, you said she's she's chained right now to the yeah to the wall. It's as you look her up and down. It's more like there are like iron loops in the wall where her hands go, and she can't like she could pull out if she really wanted to. They're not securing, but as she like goes to squirm when her arms contact, the sound is not on like bacon popping. Ooh. There are like boils all up and down her. She's been she's not doing well the implication of what's about to happen kind of washes over and she looks, she kind of like dances like to Calera to our tourist, to Calera to our tourist, to eventually land at you, Kato. She's probably still about like 40 feet or so away from you on the other side of the room. And what is the, uh, what is the Hell Knight's name again? I, Sorry, I remind Names are hard. Fantasy is... Names, fantasy, fantasy names are harder. It's, his name, I'm just literally stealing him from the campaign, but making him a Hell Knight instead of who he was before. Uh, how would you spell that? No, I'll spell it like this. Megaris Varn. Cato looks to Megaris Varn with a cocked eyebrow. Is it common to have your dinner guests carry out executions? Mm, let's just say it's been some time since, as I crack a monster, he takes a sip of his wine. <laughs> since esteemed company such as yourself has graced these new halls or any of the halls that I have graced, consider it more a show of faith on your part that I'm asking for. We are so far from our home and the rest of our allies, we simply must know who we can trust. Hmm. Out of character, better answer than I was expecting. Okay. Cato looks to the his companions, Kalira and Artorus. Any visible crossbows expressions under the, under the table that are already pointed <laughs> towards the right. <laughs> I'm I'm giving you a look of like don't hesitate and in fact oh. problem. Pro um look to my look mildly annoyed, um, staring at the uh, at uh my gears. Hmm. 
<sighs> if I'm going to do this. Yes. Well, don't keep us all waiting. Cato stands from the table, paces half the room towards Amalia, turns back to face the gathered people at the table. An alliance forged in blood, then. I have your word. You will aid us in our endeavors here in the Stolen Lands. He nods. Cato looks to Amalia as he steps towards her. So as you as you do that, from where you're standing has blocked most of the line of sight between her and the folks behind you. And you see she raises her pointer and bird finger of her right hand as much as she can towards you. And the whisper that's coming out of her mouth, you hear as if she was talking full volume in your ear, just, Kato, don't do this. I know where his tomb is. I can take you there. I just, I just, I'm sorry. I know we've had some problems in the past. I just need you to stall for like five minutes and then get our Taurus and Kalira over here and we can go. And she, from there, it just kind of goes into just like stammering, please. <laughs> uh, of course, of course. No, it's not. No, it's not, Ghost of Xenia. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! I, You're fine. I don't, have, I don't have push to talk turned on right now. I've been pushing my push to talk, but you sure don't. I, and it's all been in vain. We've all been right. hearing in the background. There we go. Giggling. All right, all right, all right. I'm. <laughs> just nice. It's on flavor for a Geminid invoker. It's fine. It's fine. Barely even give it. Right. What do you think, Esker? I know what you're thinking. I don't know. That's a dumb question. All right. Um. I mean, if you want to ask our Taurus what he's thinking, you better find a way to do that. But yeah, no, I can't. I can't give up the. Cato approaches Amalia face to face, places a hand on her shoulder. Okay. Leans in. His other hand grips his, the dagger at his belt, and he whispers, Forgive me. and slashes it across her throat. Okay. There is a gurgle. There is a burble. As she, like, falls into the restraints, like, her... She doesn't catch fire, but, like, the metal burns her as if it's hot. It The sound gets, like, as she no longer can resist against them, starts to just, like, bubble up louder and louder. The Hell Knights continue eating, and... Welcome to another episode of Kingmaker. Kato, there's your hero point. You're good. Good job, buddy. And thank you to the five of you for paying for my monster addiction, basically. Oh, like I was telling everyone, I, I took a nappy after my last game, and that was a mistake of mine because I slept for an hour. Now I'm more tired than I was. But last time we went a looking around for some cyclopses, we found some hell knights and some tigers split into several groups, went bopping around the place, and ended with, indeed, kill Amalia, the Hell Knights will help you. And it looks like Kato has made his decision and earned his hero point. I will jam the D4 in, unless any of you will uh, kindly volunteer for that next in-character reflection in return for a hero point. Uh, I had, like, a tiny one prepared, but it was sort of like in the moment, like a prelude to what just happened, so it's no longer appropriate. I mean, it can be um, fine. We could just like a whoop, 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 and then put that in. And then whoop, 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 whoop
my in character reaction to what I just saw. So oh. I'll, I'll go ahead and go, I suppose. All right, make it so. So I'm playing um, Artorus. I'm an Inquisitor of Abadar. Uh, and when we have a session that begins on a little less of an urgent matter, I, I plan on doing more of a reflection on the conversation that I had uh, with the Hell Knight. But in the moment, um, yes, as sort of conveyed by my, my look to Cato, um, I was kind of expecting this because my opinion, that is Artorus's opinion of, of Cato has sort of uh, become, uh, it's grown over the past year and a half. It's it's come quite high. So I expected him to do the, the right thing there. Um, and sure enough, he did. So um, rather out of character, surprisingly, I thought I thought that would come up with some shenanigans, but in character, Artorus is, is totally... Uh, that's exactly what he expected to happen, and he's and he's proud of uh, his king, and he's proud of the uh, impression that he has left. So, um, again, out of character, quite shocked, but in character, uh, certainly not. You know, I'm kind of in the same place. You guys have, a year and a half ago, it would have been weird and strange, and I would have needed to whip up an NPC to bring everyone together. But now there's, <laughs> we've found unity through the blood of the innocent. Good enough. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Hero point is yours, buddy. And who's next? No one. Not a lot. I can go. All right. The dinner party will adjourn here then. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. Proceed. Oh. Uh, did you? Oh, okay. I misunderstood. Oh, well, I guess actually, actually, before you proceed, we didn't hear about Kato's cornucopia classes. <laughs> I had to slip it in. It's fine. We're good. I think we know what you're playing by now, Kalira. All place. Uh, I I would play. I I play Kalira Ashling, and uh, I'm a barbarian, um, half elf, and uh, um, yeah. Um, sitting uh, sitting there at the uh, dinner, I um, looking at this hell night. Um, I I sort of uh, the impression I got. Uh, I, I couldn't quite place it uh, when I first met him, but now that we're sitting down to dinner with him, I, I realize what he reminds me of. He reminds me of every uh, back alley dog leader and um, and uh, those who thought they would be uh, king of the underground and who stuff. So many uh, believe themselves uh, so much, so much smarter than everyone around them, um, able to manipulate and play them, and. Um, and what vexes me most is probably that our dear king is playing right into his hands. I'll be keeping my eye on this one. I'm not smart enough to figure out what he's planning, but once I do, I will cut him in half. <laughs> Kalir's answer to everything. Cut it in half. Cut it in half? All right, good enough. Hero point is for you, and then it falls to Senia and Ionia. Any volunteers, or should I do the rolling? I'll go. All righty. Um, when last we saw Senia and Ionia, um, I believe we were running from a haunt. Does that sound right? Yeah. Got my timeline right. Running from a, <laughs> a big spooky. I forgot I put trench mist in here, and then trench mist it was. <laughs> um so yeah i guess kind of as we're literally on the run from that because i think that's where we left off um i think ioni is kind of feeling at this point like she's found her calling and it seems to be rescuing people she's really good at that um so she's she's just kind of feeling pretty uh I don't know, like the adrenaline is pumping. She's pretty excited about the fact that she managed to get everybody out of there alive. And um, while not entirely unharmed, you know, they'll all live to fight another day. Um, she's she's probably pretty proud of herself and Minoru right about now. Oh, also Ioni asshole, mostly human occultist. Gotta get that mostly human part in or we'll forget. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like mostly human occultist with a new mic. Yes. It sounds much better. Very good. Very good. Hero point for you. Oh, Senia. Your man's has killed the witch. What are we going to do? <sighs> oh, Senia, Senia, Senia. Senia uh, 
is a Kelid barbarian of the Geminid Invoker kind. Um, and as uh, uh, Zerish, or uh, AKA uh, Ionia pointed out that we are currently running from a spooky cloud of noxious gas. Um, and Senya, Senya's uh, like, she's a bit, she bit off more than she could chew. She thought she could, you know, handle the haunt. She, she, you know, she was coming down from high spirits of like the past few weeks of like, um, just things going for her. But you know, what, like life is like a zebra. You have your white spots and you have your dark spots, and this was a dark spot. Um, so, yeah, Sen Senya. Sanya feels like she's a disappointment. She thought she could handle it, but obviously she couldn't. So they're running back to Rustoff. No, not Rustoff. Uh, uh, Rustin um, to gather up more forces because this haunt is definitely uh, going to uh, be a thorn in their sides if they don't de-haunt it. Indeed. All right. Hero points all around. Everyone is well equipped for the the tragedies and horrors of the day and i am going to probably at least to resolve the dinner party and the running leave everyone split for just a wee bit longer i will watch the clock so i don't give one side or the other too much but i want to i gotta go back to the dinner party there's a people continue eating amalia slumps lifeless against her restraints well so be it if I'm honest, I didn't think you had it in you, young lord. Cato turns, drops the dagger to the floor, and has a very angered look on his face as he strolls back to the table. Yes, it is done. And you will never ask me to do your dirty work again. No, you seem upset. Did she cast some spell on you? How can I word this? I'd take no pleasure in murder. Perhaps she was guilty. You know better than I. But I was not present for any, for any trial or any conviction. I do not know what she did and who she, and why she deserved to be chained up like an animal and slaughtered as such. Well, I've already told you, dear boy, she is responsible for the murder of several individuals, including the Viceroy of Anchor's End. And don't consider it a murder. Consider it... Oh, pruning the grass. Yes, now we don't justice. have to worry about her for later. Justice has been done. The Artorus nodding. Or maybe you don't, but he is not. <laughs> You hear the nods, the foosh. I can hear the, the sound of the, the mask clicking as he is his head. <laughs> Forgive me, my lord. I am weary from travel, and this has all been a very emotional experience for us all, I'm sure. It was a pleasure to meet you. It was an honor to hand out judgment and justice. But if it's all the same to you, I think we may have, we may be beginning to be beginning to oversee our welcome. And it is time that we made our way back home. Of course, of course. Would the three of you be amenable to a teleportation back to your settlement? Certainly much faster than traveling through these wilds. I think that would be splendid. What about... Pause. <laughs> As all of the assembled dining hall turns to regard the ghost of Seiya, who is manifested. <laughs> Before we leave. Yes. Oh, 
One moment, I have to plug in my headphones. They're, they're dying. My headphones are dying. Boo. I love wire these wireless headphones, but the battery life on them is extremely... Ungood. Now these days. Yeah, they start off good, but they're old. Well, not that old, but anyway. Um, before we depart, if you would be so kind as to share any information you might have on the on our shared enemy, this this wretched lich, Vordekai, was his name? That you do not know, and I said... That I, I do said. not know? <laughs> Amalia would have told you. A, yes. <laughs> You've killed as, the as, lore. As, as I mentioned earlier, you know, he has, while you know, he is a threat to everyone here, he has already made uh, aggression against our people, caused dam bodily, uh, caused damage and death to our citizens. So it is of our utmost priority to to locate him and, and bring this threat to an end. However, we have, I'm not, I'm a little ashamed to say it. We are at a bit of a, bit of an impasse here. We have, we have no real leads, nothing really to act upon at this time. And uh, we were hoping that maybe uh, you and, and the resources that you command might have had better luck than, than we. Of course. Well, so far we've sent expedition teams throughout the tours of Levanese. My, I would not call Seafull my second in command. What, what is a friend of mine? He joined me on this expedition, a court wizard from Cheliax. He is yet to return. One assumes that means he's either found it or found some other long lost ancient something or other out here. So far, we are still turning over stones. Most of our time has been spent building these fortifications, as you can see. That said, I have no intention of not honoring our deal. Should we figure out the location of this vile creature? I'd be more than happy to send someone over to give you the information. Hell, I may even come myself. An honored guest. We would be happy to have you. He smiles. Very good. We will continue our search. You can continue yours, and should either of us bear fruit, we will let the other know, as we stand a better chance against this threat together than to try to handle it separately. Indeed. In these lands, united, we stand a much better chance of leaving a lasting mark and not simply being washed away. In any case, and he kind of like turns, takes in the, the rest of the assembled guests, including the party. If Clara or Taurus have anything they want to bring up, say, do. Uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty good. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Megaris does kind of always like, and then servants come take the rest of the food. The three of you are a smaller humanoid in robes that obscured like all of their face and basically all their features approaches you extends hands you guys do the graspy graspy and unless i roll a hundred i didn't roll a hundred the three of you find yourselves boop whoop, boop and whoop, boop high's bad right when it comes to teleportation yeah you wanted they're pretty familiar with where you live so like a hundred would have been not this small castle in the Stolen Lands, but another one. Uh, and also, like, you're missing your eyebrows and took some damage. All of you arrived just kind of, like, in the middle of town. There's kind of, like, a, oh, from the general assembled folks that see the, the king, high priest, and marshal just kind of, like, pop, pop, pop. The wizard nods and then snaps away himself. You got, you you got, got it right. right. You got his title right. I did it. It's so difficult. All, all we had to do was change it. <laughs> yep. Wait. wait the, what? The, how, who's going to get our carriage? Meanwhile, at the <laughs> carriage. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 gosh, I hope somebody comes home for me. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Probably should have mentioned that. 
to the uh the carriage is now the lawful property of the order of the pike <laughs> oopsie well, poopsie it's... meanwhile sprinting away from an, a zombie spewing monster missing hair burns everywhere Senea, Ionia, Minoru, Jubilost, and Bakken just like full bore through the swamps. Eventually you get to a point where like you have very clearly outrun the trench mist and it's like it's safe to stop and catch your breath. Bakken kind of just like as soon as there is a stop, both Bakken and Jubilost kind of just like Jubilos probably has to, like, tap, tap, tap on Minoru's, like, jowls to get him to let go. And then the pair of them just floop down onto the grass, breathing heavily, panting, balking, probably just like, Well, that was, in all my years, never have I ever come that close to... And then a long, like, string of anger ending with a general just, bah, at the end of it, as he's, <laughs> want, as he's want to do. Um, so while he's doing that, I'll go uh, kind of help the Jubilast up after Minoru dropped in, and I'll just say, how you feeling? Oh, myself? Well, let me tell you, I don't have push to talk on. <laughs> I'm a bit better. I, you, you don't happen to have any hair dye on you, do you? This is shameful. Um, not typically. My hair is just naturally this color that must be nice yeah diet with illusion magic ah yes you're right ghost of kato and he and goes back to he had well he'd have to concentrate on it so he'll just pearl of ash please if you would and little dragon just concentrates on a silent image on his hair evermore <laughs> huh well clearly we've been outmatched outfought and in general Made fools of. How are we going well, to swing this one at court in such a way that we don't seem like inept, small-muscled other words as well? To be Sen fair... Senya steps up. Don't worry. I'll, I'll take the blame for this one. I'm... I guess to be clear, I'm not so sure there's blame essentially to be taken. I think it's more of a we bit off a little more than we could chew. That we have. I honestly thought that I could handle the haunt, but its strength is far superior to my capabilities right now. I I don't suppose any of your your ancestors that you're conjure perhaps could uh, conjure a strong wind could be useful. Sanya shakes her head. I'm afraid not. Bakken just kind of still laying back on the grass. Just, ha! As that comes out. Suppose we could cover our noses and mouths the next time we want to wade inside of a semi-sentient living thing, but that wouldn't stop the burns. Well, it'd probably help if we were spread out a little bit. That way, I wouldn't be able to, you know, just get everybody at once. Reasonable. Could have had better tactics. Sounds about right, yeah. Well, where from well, here? Do we, do you want to rest here? I don't know how beat up everyone else is, but I, and like, Bakken is not good. Jubilost is not good. Should we happen to run into even just like a, a particularly angry horde of bears in the woods these days? Or should... Heaven forbid Jubilos rolls over, finds a bear trap, and gets bitten. Things end badly for all of us. You understand. Um, I'll hand each one of them a potion. Senya, are you, are you looking okay? Uh, Senya, the, no, uh, she's she's about half health, right? So she's not looking too hot. Okay, let me see what I've got here. I think she's got a potion somewhere. Oh, I only have my big potions now. Okay. Um, Jubilos actually went down, right? Yeah. Jubilos almost bit the big one on that one. And uh, I think Bakken was looking 
worse than half, right? Yeah, if I, recall. I believe so. Let me let me pop him up here. Does sorry, uh, does Ionia have any healing spells, or anybody in the party have healing spells? Because um, Senya can use the totem that I just posted on herself. I do him. not. Bakken's um, got about twenty hit points left, and all his ex extracts were prepped a different way. Okay, never mind. What I can do is I have a potion of Cure Moderate, a potion of Cure Serious. I think one of those should certainly go to Jubilost. I do um, have one Cure Serious one, so I'll use that. Okay, and then we'll give the Moderate to Bakken. Um, and uh, then from there what I can do is... How many of us are there? Quite a lot. Um, I can cast Pass Without Trace on us to help prevent something, like bears smelling us and coming after us. Um, I don't think it'll really make that much of a difference, but that's what I've got. That's 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 prudent. Indeed. Outside of that, I say we just do our best to make it home in one piece, and we can take some time to heal up there. Okay. So as y'all, like, pass out the potions, drink the thing, start to feel a little better, there is a... You've come to rest under a particularly large, particularly dead oak tree. Just kind of like hanging out in the middle of the swamp. As people are starting to drink potions, before your very eyes, the tree begins to glow a, a not quite blue, not quite green, not quite purple. The colors like swirl together and all come together as one and then mitosis out again. And as they like spread out, it seems to open almost a door inside the tree and out steps. Y'all have already identified a Dwemer cat. However, this one is fully grown. First, the paw comes out and then like the head of what would appear to be a tiger, except for the antenna and the purpley, greenishy, bluishy fur and things of that nature. And the all too intelligent eyes is a kind of like paw, paw, head comes out. Hello. And who are you? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, have we intruded? Mm, more like I've intruded. Who are you, though? It starts, like, all too human-like, starts drumming the, like, the beans of one of the feet. Um, can I sense motive on this guy? Yeah, yeah. On this, on this meowster? I'm gonna hold on to that for Meowster. That's the best, but yeah, by all means. <laughs> uh, very curious, it would seem. Just like, you're not sure exactly what has happened, but the cat has been able to magic itself out of the tree somehow. And now it's come upon all of you and didn't quite expect to. I don't get any feeling of like danger or anything like that mm, curiosity could turn to danger but it could just as easy turn to anything else right now it's just like oh is this a people there are That's some right. people here and one dog and one stag horse um and speaking of uh minoru's probably got like a low low rumble going on and so i'll be kind of holding him back and calming him down being like Minoru, no leave it leave it sit leave it Mm, yes, Minoru, sit, please do, please, yes. Kind of like turns its head sideways and sniffs in the direction of Minoru. Uh, apologies, it's been a while since he's been around animals besides horses. Oh, I see. Um, we are uh, members of the Council of Concordia. Who are you? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. I've heard of you. You live in over by the water, yes, in the big building. Used to be run by some 
man with oh that hat exactly as he turns and looks over at Senia. that right there that was the hat he wore it's that hat in particular that's the one turns back towards everybody you seem to know uh the goings around uh around these lands oh well i've been uh, here for a while you see from time to time a gate will open i'll pop my head in sometimes you find all matters of treasure and wonderful strange things my son actually one of the the youngest in my last litter he stayed behind he stayed with a, a local magician to learn the art i believe that's where i've heard of you he thinks very highly of you oh that's very flattering i'm glad to hear it ah uh, yes did said you did some Fine work in helping. What, what what was her name? She lived by the river. She the cat goes to just tap 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 again. Uh, Amelia. Amalia. My yes yes. My common is very bad. Does anyone speak Sylvan? No. Oh wait, yes I do. And then in Sylvan, just this language is far more eloquent and pleasing to the ear. But sometimes you have to speak the language of the others because that's just how things go. I, I haven't seen her in a while. Have you? You haven't happened to see the, the young lass. She's quite interesting. Unfortunately, I haven't. It seems some time ago she uh, went missing. I believe she was uh, being pursued by some hell knights. Oh, how dreadful. I don't know exactly what that is, but I know what hell is. And like, as if on cue, Amalia's familiar portals in out of nowhere. Just, mother, mother, they killed her. The, the Kato killed Amalia and I don't know what to do. And, oh, hush. Hush, little one. Come here. And there's kind of a very Eonia's quiet... jaw drops. <laughs> Humans don't live very long anyway. You knew you would outlive your human. It, it is what it is. It's fine. It's fine. Come here, little one. Starts, like, purring. And the Dwemer cat cub, Amalia's former familiar, just, like, full top of its kitty cat voice not quite yowling not quite sobbing like a human some mixture of the two what do you mean kato killed amalia killed her killed her dead you understand that he he stands up the cub does on on like back legs front legs up puts a paw to his throat and does the well that seems highly unlikely of him he seems to have been smitten by her no, oh, you know, I thought that too, to and now he's way. gone and killed her. I don't understand, mother. Why do these humans do such the ignorant, stupid... And he goes, like, crying and then, like, portals out again. I'm sorry. I, I was very much looking forward to continuing our conversation and seeing what I'd come upon, but my poor child is distraught. I must bid you adieu, and boop. The forest gets really quiet. Eonius, jaw still dropped, just kind of like shifty eyes around to the whole party and it's just like what well that's alarming bakken and jubloster kind of in the same boat well well i think we're only huh. going to get our answers if we head back home and confront kato about this nonsense I really thought he liked her. So did I. Clearly, not as much as he likes wanton violence. Bakken, didn't you tell me something about a, the when, when the Mithlets, when they lived under the tree? Yes, yes, indeed. I had to stop them from murdering each other. And it's a wonder that ugh, we should go home quickly. Yeah, that's that's a, a good plan. Quickly for the five of you. Takes... Uh... Quickly, uh, before we head home, can you remind me how to drink potions again? <laughs> well, first you take the stopper off. Right. <laughs> uh, what is it? Out of character. What is it's it a potion a of? Serious, pure serious one. That's three D eight plus five, I believe. So there you go. Thanks. Y'all would also, in addition, have the time that you need to rest probably around Amalia's hut until. All of you make it back. Artorius, Kalira, Kato, you've had 24 hours alone in Roostin. If there's anything in particular you would like to do. I would have said someone to get out of our carriage. <laughs> Just be, we left our car! Shit! <laughs> you, get the car! Dude, where's my car? Yeah. Dude, where's my car? In the mountains with the devil worshippers. <laughs> it's with the cult! I played Grand Theft Auto V. I know exactly where that is. Yeah, so we'll send... um. 
Who's there to send there? Everyone's gone, I guess. The, just some... Some Joe Schmoes from the town, I guess. Send some of the militia to go pick up your car. Okay. That's so funny. Are they gonna show up to the to the Hell Knight Citadel and, and then the they come back like, recruited into the Hell Knight Order? Ooh, they sent us recruits. Wonderful. They said if we drank the Kool Aid, my lord, we'd be much cooler, and then we did, and now we just really, really like devilry. Oh, oops. And here we are. All right, it's twenty four hours. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick chat with our Taurus in the. Uh... I assume upon arriving, our Taurus goes straight to his. His temple. I was gonna spend my time catching up with Arbiter and just hanging out, but sh you can come talk to me if you want. Yeah, I'll come. And yeah, I would be in my temple. I f you're always in your temple. I can always rely on you being in the temple, just like I can always rely on Kalira to be getting drunk in the tavern. Or like Garrus to be calibrating weapons. It's that's where he goes <laughs> when you're in the town. <laughs> that's where you find that NPC. <laughs> I digress. Well. So as I approach the temple, I always don't know how to I'm trying to visualize this. Is it like a church, like a you know, like your traditional there's pews and there's an altar at the front? In the What's, central what is, hall? What does this temple look like? Describe Inside it for me, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I would say in the central hall, which is would be right after you enter, there's this like kind of a, a forward chamber. Um, and then once you enter, yeah, it opens up into something like you'd imagine what you're describing. And where's our Taurus hanging out? Where does he hang I, out? I hang so uh, just like most churches, like there's kind of a like an, an antechamber sort of behind the altar and everything um where the clergy that's usually like that's where my personal shrine is and, and um that's usually where i'm at so i have to walk through the main sort of gathering area in order to get there yeah uh depending on what time of day it is there'd probably be uh, a few people coming and going but as long as there's no like organized service or or reading um it's are you probably... holding an organized service right now? What time is it? Uh, Y'all would have 24 hours, so the time would be up to us. Okay. Pretty much. Um, so yeah, then I would show up when the... I'd show up when there wasn't a, like a, a service. Going okay. On. Then yeah, uh, we'll say like early afternoon. Okay. So Kato's going to kind of just stroll through the temple, his hand brushing along the the pews as he makes his way up to the front of the. Uh, where the altar is, just very, very slow, deep in thought, almost like very morose. And he's just kind of looking around, sort of loitering. As he's examining the fixtures and the and the symbolism, and then he slowly makes his way back to the. Uh, the high priest's office and uh, knocks on the door. <laughs> nice. So that would be a little unusual as I'm not expecting anybody, uh, but I, I would stop what I was doing. Uh, probably, uh, probably in prayer at my personal shrine, I would imagine with an arbiter nearby. Open the door. Ah, uh, my lord, it's an unexpected uh, pleasure. What uh, what brings you here? A spiritual matter, I'm afraid. Well, that's my, may I may I come in? Of course. Cato steps in, closes the door behind him. Have we sold our souls to the devil? This is about Amalia. I would be lying if I said 
the events of the other day were not weighing heavily on me. I am conflicted. I am all for justice and seeing justice done, but what happened back there felt well, it felt wrong. The way it was carried out, the those those hell knights. Yes, they uh, they are a singular focused uh, bunch. Uh... I still believe what I did was the right decision, given all the all the pieces that are at play. Even if I don't like it, sometimes I have to make decisions that I don't like, that are the right decisions, or I have to at least believe that they're the right decision in the moment. You know, otherwise we second guess ourselves endlessly and and nothing ever gets done and it's it's chaos and madness but i don't know if we can trust them everything felt from the moment we stepped into their citadel everything felt like it was theater the, the phalanx of, of soldiers that met us at the gate the clearly orchestrated dinner service with the you know extraordinarily disciplined war uh guards that were you know eating in unison to the to the show of of uh amalia being you know chained into the hall and and us tasked or me tasked with her her public execution uh with no notice just everything just felt so like i said theatrical and mm -hmm. almost like they were trying to prove something, trying to, I don't know. Well, tell us something. I, I saw the entire thing as more of a, of a test. We were being tested from our composure uh, to our willingness to exact justice. And Personally, I, I think everything uh, went pretty well. Um, I was surprised that they would allow you the honor of executing their court. Um, honor? Of course. You need... When you think of Amalia and you think of what you did, don't think of the woman that we parlayed with some time ago. Think of the victims that she killed. You should, it might be worth looking into some more to help ease your conscience. Conscience, not your conscience. Keep that intact. But your conscience. Um, to find out exactly who she killed, to see their faces, or if, if possible, to hear from their loved ones. Because that's who you should be thinking about when you think about what you did. That's what truly matters. That is assuming we believe the Hell Knight story. Well, it's... I mean, only they know if she's truly the guilty party or not. And I guess we'll just have to assume that they did their due diligence and they were certain about you know who the guilty who was guilty and and justice has been has been handed out but i don't know i just don't feel the whole thing makes me feel rotten and obviously amalia being i wouldn't say she was any of our friends per se but you know she certainly didn't cause us any uh any harm uh in fact she did help us out in you know more than one occasion I just don't see her being the mass murdering, you know, terrorist type of person. It just, if, if, if there's a disconnect between, there's a huge disconnect between the Amalia that they describe and the Amalia that we interacted with. And I think that is where things are, things are difficult. Perhaps, but you recall that even during our initial meeting or encounter with her, it almost came to blow. She wasn't the most 
agreeable sort. That is true. Had we, we were pretty am amicable to her, her desires to be left alone. Had we, had we forced the issue uh, of our, you know, claim to the to the to the area, she may have <laughs> been the death of all of us as well before fleeing to a new new locale. So, if anything, I would be encouraged because. They did successfully track her. They have exactly the skill set that we require. And we really have no other options in terms of finding this lich. I hope you're right, because I'm going to tell you something I, I, didn't I haven't told anyone else yet. Amalia, right before she died, before I killed her, I won't mince words, before I killed her, she used some of her magic, I imagine, um, to speak into my into my mind. I guess I assume only I could hear her because there was no there was no reaction from anyone else in the room. She asked for my help. She asked for me to to help her, and if we helped her, she would give us the location of the lich. She supposedly knew whether she was lying to try to save her own skin. We'll never know. But that was her bartering chip for her life in the moment. And mm -hmm. I was, I will not lie, I was, I was almost tempted to take it, but I saw no way out, really, truly. Her fate was sealed at that moment. I, and to try to spring her would just have brought the Hell Knights down upon our heads, which. I don't know who I fear more, the Lich or the Hell Knights, at this moment. Well, I would... F well, first, let me say, I would definitely fear the Lich more. The Lich is unpredictable. The Hell Knights, we can at least, in my opinion, take up their... They are I mean, if, I mean not, if we cross them. Well, Sorry. I meant, I meant like... I, okay. <laughs> um, but... Uh, I'm a little troubled by what you say um and if it were anybody else i would spare them their feelings particularly given the way in which you approached would it not have been possible to bring to the attention of the hell knights the information she had so that they could attempt to extract it before they execute yes there were a number of things that could have been done better there I will admit in the moment. I understand. I mean, it was a stressful situation. I, oh, I don't, don't mean to burden you further with, with regret because you really shouldn't regret justice and exacting punishment for wrongdoing. Still, I hope the, it's just the, the Hell Knights better be able to, better be a, an asset when it comes to finding this lich. Otherwise, we may have thrown away, or I may have thrown away our, our best lead in acquiring their their alliance. So well they were able able to track Amalia and uh, out of character. Who was it that recognized the spell? Was it was it Ionia that she was like jumping from tree to tree like within a, a million mile okay. I, was, I assume it was you, Amalia you... that got tree strike. She's the one who's in spellcrafting this or not Amalia, excuse me. Uh, Ionia, Ionia yeah. 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 She's been spellcrafting okay. for the party for her whole career, so I assume it was her. Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was me. So I, yeah, I, don't think... I would sort of make reference to that and say, you know, they were able to track her through that. It seems entirely possible that their skill set is exactly what we require. Yeah. No, out of character, I know it was definitely Ionia because I don't think Artors has passed a single spellcraft <laughs> all campaign. Got it certainly feels that way. Uh, all right. Well, in the meantime, at the very least, we have their assistance in this matter. We could, while they work on tracking the lich, we could turn our attention to the tiger lord. I think we've made some very capable allies. It, they're dangerous allies, but very capable. And I know. <clears throat> Um, 
if I'm going uh, to be honest with you in the in the interest of transparency, um, the conversation that I had uh, with the Master Knight uh, made reference to my lineage, and I don't know the full details. I was only told a, a surface level explanation. My parents were pursued by Hell Knights uh, and forced uh, to leave Cheliax uh, before I was born. And though I don't believe them to be sins of the father sorts, uh, it seems that this particular gentleman has some knowledge, however buried, of my past or well, my lineage. And I don't expect it to be an issue, particularly since we have shown a such a we've had such a strong showing uh, in proving that we are of the kind of people they can trust. But had that uh, had that dinner gone slightly different, I would imagine it might have turned into something because eventually he's going to remember. I don't know what what information he has access to. For all I know, he he knows more than I do about the nature my parents' transgressions, but they are and have been deceased for some time now. Uh, and I have been my own person in the service of Abadar just as long and even longer. So I thought you should know uh, in the spirit of uh, transparency and in the on the subject of uh, just how trustworthy the Hell Knights are. I'll be honest, I am personally drawn to their fervor, and I feel a certain kinship to them, uh, just given my the blood that runs through my veins. But make no mistake, the Order of the Pyre is, uh, is a dangerous ally, uh, an even more dangerous enemy, though. Fiend. I'll take your silence to mean something <laughs> I dangerous. Was... <laughs> you broke up. I didn't hear what you said. Last part. Yeah. Um, very good. This was a good talk. Put my put my mind at ease a bit. Hopefully, we can put this whole Amalia situation behind us and uh, and never talk to speak about it again. And I don't. I hope the other. I don't know if it's necessary that we bring the events of Amalia. Up to the rem the other members of the of the council. Well, I mean, in the spirit of transparency, we should probably inform them. But as long as we don't lie, I wouldn't stop you from not saying anything. And the party never, rest of the party never found out. Truthfully, weighing their conscious, conscious, conscience. Says Jesus, that's I'm struggling with that today. Uh, with such information, uh, perhaps it's best to to I know uh, well, well, we'll you know assess what I'm the field. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll assess the field when the others return and see, you know, if it's I hope they're okay, they've been gone for longer than we have, actually. Maybe we should yeah, send out they... a might want to send out a search party soon. I hope. Well, I hope I... they didn't. I'd hope they didn't run afoul with a with a tiger lord uh, no. force. And I asked Senya quite explicitly to keep Ionia safe. I trust that she wouldn't lead her into anything overly dangerous. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure they're perfectly fine. And Jubilost and uh, and Bakken are there. I think between oh. the four of them, they could handle basically anything. Well, knowing Jubilasi probably got took him. a big hit. Took, yeah. took a big hit, and he's being carried back. Is that our cue? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I suppose it can be if you guys would like it to. There's no reason for it to not be. Minoru barks in the distance as the away team returns to the oh, USS Kirsten. <laughs> Limping in. 
<laughs> Everyone's bleeding and. <laughs> um, actually, I think I'm at full health. I mean, it's been a day. Mm. They've had time to rest. They've got spell slots back. They've had potions. No one's bleeding, but... I took two much... points of damage, right? Good, good. Well done. And here they are. They arrive. Ah, friends! You've made it back. Safely. I take it General Grievous is destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Who is General Grievous? I'm sorry, the haunt. That's what I was referring to. That's the the new name of what's going on in the. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. Well, about that. I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's it's much stronger than I thought it would be. Uh, I wasn't able to dispel it. What did you? Hmm. What what was that? What was what was out there? There were zombie trolls and and a noxious mist um, that almost was the death death of all of us. Uh, was it not for Ionia's quick thinking and um, us outrunning it? But it still remains, and it's as dangerous as ever. Zombie trolls, you said. Senya nods. Yeah, I think they were like acidic too, maybe. I don't really remember. Kato's, um, Kato's theory that the liches involved is starting to come to starting to be just uh zombie trolls. As if normal trolls weren't scary enough. Well, I don't think the trolls are really the big concern here. Like we've dealt with trolls before. That's kind of whatever. It's really the trench mist that's the problem. What is trench mist? Out of character. I don't remember all of the details, but I remember rolling pretty well, I think, to to know. So I'll fill in the party what I learned last session. Should I fill in the party what we learned last session as well? Should I do a, a quick catcher upper? Uh evil mist that so turns dead bodies into zombified horrors perpetuates infinitely yada 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 very bad armies call ceasefires something something world war one reference something something green dragon <laughs> right lots of death from poison create cloud create death okay cool but then the this was like artificially created though right or, or something like that it's more like a, a trench mist in and of itself is a sentient creature like you wouldn't call it undead it, you'd call it closer to like an ooze or like something the likes of which you would have found in candlemere tower um, so I, I think the haunt then correct oh, me if i'm wrong here Tommy. the haunt is the trolls um, which we assume was kind of a uh, reaction to uh, Sir Zoom's just kind of like major uh, genocide there. Um, and then the trench mist came in on top of that as a separate thing, right? Yeah, it seems more like the haunt is, it is a place that will heal them and harm you, basically. It, like they are, they are so tied to that particular region that it keeps fueling their bodies with negative energy, and y'all being in there who can't quite stomach that, it's a little more painful for you to be there. The, tre <laughs> the trench mist is drawn in the same way that like Ionia was drawn the Candlemere Tower. This is an interesting thing that is all about what we're about, and then the trolls coming back is just a. They have risen in on life because of recent trauma honestly pointing the lich towards it makes a lot of sense too because they've been like dead and gone for a while yeah i don't think it's a coincidence that this happened to spring up now of all times yeah i should <laughs> but now that our taurus knows what's up and our taurus's sense motive is astronomical so yeah. high he doesn't even have to roll <laughs> i've got a i've got a bard with all of the knowledge checks are the same way. I got to remember in this squad, I got to do samesies. But yeah, no, to make a zombie, you need a body. The bodies were gone, which stands to reason then that someone, presumably this lich, went troll hunting, put the bodies there. 
something something you can't quite put it all together in your head artorius but like perhaps they were related to some of the other trolls that were massacred there perhaps even just word got out about what happened to troll kind and it was enough trauma to generate undead or could have been a more likely scenario the trolls were lured there and then the trench mist got them and the trench mist can also create zombies under control of the trench mist and they seem to be following it around as opposed to just like mindlessly wandering around arms out in front of them meh, kind of zombie vibes gotcha but definitely not a coincidence Ionia you s in your description of the uh, art party away party in the description of your encounter um, I imagine you did it attempt to pursue them when they ran, but they outran it, or...? Yeah, yeah. They, right. they, only by virtue fat, of right? that haste, yeah. That was the only way they got out. So this thing is moves, and it moves fast, and it is just basically kills anything it touches and is dragging a horde of zombie trolls around with it. If this thing got near any of our settlements... The settlement would turn against you in a matter of seconds. Had this been what happened in Thornburg instead of the Lich... I mean, like, they, mechanically, a townsperson doesn't have a lot of hit dice, so they would take a lot of damage, and then here's a zombie. If someone Oh, so this thing is a walking zombie-making cloud. Yes, that's why Watch. armies will full stop when they show up, because suddenly here's this third and fourth entity you have to fight. We need to deal with this immediately. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, um... Also... We ran into a Dwemer cat, and it got, gave us some interesting news. What is this about Cato killing Amalia? Dwemer cat? Was it... I would was recall it? that the Amalia is familiar was a Dwemer cat, right? Mm -hmm. like, that wasn't... Uh, yeah. yeah, was it her familiar? Well, not at first. Um, it was the familiar's mother. And then her familiar popped up and was like, Oh my god, oh my god, Kato killed Malia! Yes, that is a exactly perfect as like Jublos is currently putting dye in his hair, just like as hard as he can, turns the corner, is still just hands through hair, hands through hair, hands through hair, his hands are stained black. He should have put gloves on. Do you need on. help there, buddy? No, I'm I'm quite fine. That was a wonderful impression. Yes, indeed, that's what little kitty sounded like. And Bakken turns the corner, well indeed. Regardless, can we get a little more information about what exactly happened and why you went? I guess you're never going to find that bag of holding now. What? Yes, our king, our king has once again sold us down the river. You know, Not at all. I smelled, I smelled, I sm it just, the whole situation reminded me of the same thing with that stupid dragon. It, you were played, you were played, you know? You know, you know they, they have a name for people who go kill things on the command of someone else, where I'm from. They call them Marshall? No. <laughs> they, call them, they call them dogs. And I should know because I was one for a long time, and it's something I don't really feel like going back to doing. If you want to be the dogs of these hell knights, fine, but know that you've... You've made yourself their supplicant. I hope you realize. This one is against alliances of all sorts. I, I'm, I'm, me, making that's friends true. doesn't that's, mean you're s really eating at true. their table. You know that, right? Well, we the, were the literally eating at their table. Well, yeah, but the, I'm not afraid to make enemies. There's a difference. You're a, you are quick to make enemies, and you, I, I've never seen you once come out on the side of trying to make a, an equal sovereign ally. You'll, you're okay with making, like, servants, like your guards that you brought into you our place. they equal sovereign allies. Are you a fool? There's no, always I am talking to one. Always one or another. There's no equal. That's an illusion. And this is why, my king, you should never take political advice from this one. Because to her, all alliances are signs of weakness. She'll always come out on the side of being an adversary forever and for all time. Unless someone comes to us, grovels at her feet, washes her feet, and declares themselves totally and completely ours. 
she's going to think that they are playing us and that they are our enemy and that we have made fools of ourselves by even sitting down to speak with them. Okay, regardless of all of the who's a dog and who's not a dog and who's made what friends and rivers and whatever, will someone just tell me what in Kalistria's name and Buck and, like, gets his hands around, like, behind a barrel and whoops himself up to sit on top of it, went down. Why did this happen? What did you find? Where I feel like I'm just opening the book and you're telling me chapter six. Suffice it to say, the meeting with the Hell Knights was complicated with that said deals were struck an alliance was forged and it turns out that the hell knights had already apprehended uh, amalia she was their prisoner uh they had demolished oh did you guys did the away party experience the demolition of candlemere tower when they were out that way just... I'm gonna say it happens sometime during the trench mist fight. Okay. I thought about so they... doing it like as you're passing around really close to Candlemere Tower. Oh no! But sometime during the fight is when it went down. You probably heard mm. the sound of the tower collapsing, but we're too busy just oh god, 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 oh god to like really process it. Fair enough, and I won't bring that up yet. Um. But yeah, Amalia was already in their custody. She had already been, you know, sentenced to die, and you know we were in the seat of we were in the center of their of their fort. As a show of good faith, they requested that we, or more specifically I, uh, do the execution myself. It was difficult. And. What happens when the show of good faith is executing Senya, myself, Bakken, Jubilost? It won't come to that. How can you be sure? Because <laughs> because you are all. Um, Amalia was a murderer who made it a point to not be a part of our kingdom. She, yeah. We owed her nothing. We owed I'm her not saying we enough. did owe her anything, but you yourself told me that these people would view Senor or myself as the same as her. They are also our only chance at locating a powerful spellcaster who obliterated a, a house of ch We have to make sacrifices. We need to find the lich. See, and they have... Even she did it. Not that. Look at that. They have agreed not only to... So we came to a number of, of agreements. Trade, um, protection, but also an alliance against this lich, which uh, you know, they will be using... They plan to stay here for, the, you know, for at least the foreseeable future uh, and have no intentions of going home until God knows when. Unless we wanted to make ourselves an enemy of them... It was important that we made ourselves an alliance. And since we both share a common a common foe, they also seek the Lich. We are seeking the Lich. You know, the alliance made sense. And it's for the betterment of, of all of our people, for all of Concordia, to see this threat ended. Where this alliance will go once the, the imminent threat has, uh, has been dispatched, that is something that we'll need to address when the time comes. But you better believe that I will protect each and every member of our populace that includes Ionia, that includes Senya. You are all you are both members of our citizens of Concordia as much as you are uh, you know, part of this council. And no Hell Knight will lay a finger on any of you. Or they will Do lose that finger. Kato Sicarius, my brave liege. You cut what out there. The Sorry, you yeah, you what cut out. What do you do to stop them, my brave liege? What's your plan? I mean, you're assuming that that things come to As come to she violence. always I, does. I have to shake my head. I'm, it's, it's, I'm, it's, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm confident, it's, I'm confident it's, that it may not go. Sure. And of course, I'm we'll saying, always... I'm it will happen. You need to prepare for when it does. Unlike this one, I don't believe I don't believe everything will work out because my God will make sure it happens. 
I know better than that. Things go bad. They always go bad. You need to be ready. And we will be ready. Then think of a plan. Until you have one, you're not. Until the Lich has been dealt with, the Hell Knights are not a threat. Yeah, if we they have are much ever... greater worried. Yes. But however, Kalira does make one good point in her murderous rambling, and that is that yes, you should always have a contingency in case your friends turn against you, lest you leave your back door open for them to just walk walk in and you know dispatch you themselves so we will not let that happen we will make sure that you know we are in a position to defend ourselves should anything ever should anything come up with the hell knights however i am optimistic that it won't come to that but of course nothing is a certainty so yes we will be prepared we will have a force that can protect our borders but that goes for any threat. That goes for the Tiger Lords. That goes for any other would-be faction that would come down here and and set up, set up camp and and potentially threaten us. Like enemies can come from anywhere. We'll need to be ready for any possible incursions, but we will be. So, uh, clear your concern is understandable and noted. And, but, but, to, but do not worry. My job. On the immediate matter of this trench mist, as this, all of this discussion is, will be, is going to be completely pointless if this thing, you know, reaches us and and destroys everything here were you able to discern anything of how we can stop it while you were being torn apart by it did anything work did anything that you guys try have any effect I do believe that Bakken scored some good hits on it before we've almost succumbed to it. But I think the best the best approach to something like that would not be all grouped together, but spread out and attack it from range. When you say Bakken attacked it, like with a with one of his one of his bombs exactly brute force thoroughly applied in large doses basically anywhere will solve your problem with the trench mist it's just an issue of breathing it in or being inside of it it's the skin the flesh it's not like any he pokes his arm not very permeable with them it's it's like literally walking into fog except for then you're exposed to a bunch of negative energy it's really if I'm honest, I think we maybe could have had it. Maybe, maybe if we had one extra body or even just like the walking ballista that our Taurus has become. In that case, we probably would have come out just fine. That doesn't mean it's not painful. I think the the main thing with uh, dealing with the trench mist is going in with a solid plan, going in with our full force. Um, I can do some some additional research before we confront it again to see if we can better prepare ourselves in any way. From what from from what it did to you two, Bakken and, and Jubilost, yes, I think I think handling the trench mist from range is probably the soundest bet. Reasonable. Though it is, though it is fast. And on that note, I think the best way to to handle that is to have everybody spread out at range um, in such a way that the trench mist can't envelop more than one of us at a time. Makes sense. We'll just write this one off as measure twice, cut once, but the first time we measured, we tried to cut and accidentally sawed our pinky off. But we're totally fine. 
<laughs> as Bakken, like, he raises his arms, like, we're fine. There's obvious, like, there are places all about them where new skin has formed in the wake of it just being, like, burned off. Oh, poor thing. This thing gives me the heebie-jeebies. So is that a first thing in the morning thing? Are we to rest up and then go head out into the swamp and go fight us some strange, non-living, aberrant, fiendish... I don't even... The likes of which don't even really fall in a book. They don't really fall in the natural order. It's a, it's a whole thing. Are you did feeling the, up to it? Did the party grab... Um, what's her name on the way back as well? Um, the Aruxi. Oh. We did, but aren't they settling in closer to us now? Yeah, they are, really? like, in the tusk water. Basically just setting up rafts to sleep on, that kind of thing, and, like, store their stuff. They want to be as close to y'all as they can. Yeah, I, I do, yeah, we definitely need to rest up and, and, and go fresh. However, I don't want this thing, you know, enveloping our city while we sleep, so... Um... We definitely want, need some scouts in the marshes to uh, to keep an eye out in case it were to were to approach. At the pace the it was going, Tommy, um, would I be able to like intellect my my way into figuring out about how long it would take for it to get from where it was to us? Yeah, yeah, it could have. You guys were able to outrun it pretty handily, but it's more of like a it could be here now if it wanted to kind of thing. It just chose to not. It would probably have arrived at about the same speed. Okay. Um, I think it. it's also probably worth... It did pursue us. Um, so it, it might be worth agitating it a bit and then luring it away from the haunted grounds. Oh... Because it's faster than than everything else. It's faster than the zombies. It's faster than... So we could lure it away and, and deal with it separately. Well, and just in general, I think it's it's better to not fight things where they have an advantage. Yeah. Well, we leave it to advantage. And you were able to outrun it because of your magic, right, Ionia? Your it was haste. quite brilliant, actually. Frankly, we should all be dead. But if not for Ionia... Well, and Jubilos kind of just trails off, or excuse me, Bakken so, just kind of trails off. Jubilos, when the, we'd all be dead, Jubilos' eyebrows just kind of shoot up into his forehead. So if we set up like a position, and then you were to ride in, take a shot at it, cast haste, and run like hell back to us, you think it would pursue you and fall into our trap? I'm not sure if if one hit would do it, but I think we could definitely aggravate it enough to follow us as we did before. Um, I would say, though, that uh, a lot of my magic can be applied well before the fight, um, and that'd be certainly a, a better a better use of our time, as that way I could focus, uh, focus my abilities towards helping in the fight rather than just handing out buffs. Well, Bakken's tactical appraisal was that they only, like, you were close to to winning, correct? Just needed a little more, a little more, to apply a little more force and we would have been fine. So maybe this is overthinking it. Maybe we just go in, we get the drop on it. Before it has a chance to consume anybody, we hit it with everything we've got clean up the uh, trolls, and then we can, once this area is secured, or relatively secured, um, I'm going to have Senya, I, I mean, I wasn't there for the attempt, but I assume, Senya, that your attempt to communicate with this haunt didn't go so well. No, it wasn't very forthcoming. So I guess you probably didn't have a whole lot of time to attempt either, considering the situation, maybe with all of the other external threats, the trolls that the mist dealt with, that would give us a better opportunity to to quote-unquote channel the hunt, so to speak, in 
safer conditions. I would like to speak with it, if you have the ability to act as a vessel temporarily, it would be, I think we could gather some, I think we should, could get some information. If the Lich is involved in what's going on here, it may have some insights and but I think clearing out the immediate threat around the haunt first before attempting haunt channeling again is probably a smarter way to to approach it. Oh well, good luck with all that. Um, I'm going to uh, <laughs> go back to the cabin. Go Wait, back. what? What? You're always itching for a fight. What? It's not a fight. It's freaking acid smoke. I mean, what? Zombie How do you even fight? You do. Not f I'm not getting possessed or cursed following you around. It's not part of the deal. If this trench mist consumes Concordia, there is no deal anymore. You realize that? This isn't something you can run from, Clara. I know you're scared. It, not running. I'm just going to sit here. Sure, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. you can like or you... something, right? You said you could absorb it. Absorb it. Shit, I don't know. Are you gonna sit here and wait for it to consume all of the lands and eventually you, or you can go and cleave it in half like you cleaved the darkness in half? I don't even think that would work. I don't know. You're the Magic Sunderer. I don't like you know that. better how that works than I do. Thank you. you would think that, darling, but I don't know how it works at all. Um, f fine. I mean, whatever, I suppose. If you're so... Man, this is you. You you've just come at me with bad idea after bad idea, Kato. I have to admit, this is this is getting vexing. But um, I don't know. I uh, I mean, if if any of you getting possessed, I'm killing you. I'm just putting it out there. It's nothing. Well, possible. Senya's gonna intentionally get herself possessed. That's the whole point. That's the whole plan. Mm. That way, we can speak to this otherworldly spirit and figure out what the hell is going on. Maybe get some intel. Speak to the, the, the dead person. Why would you? Look, I trust Senya says she can do it. I trust that she can do it. I trust that she'll be fine. She had it's a bunch of dead trolls. Of... Why would you care what they have to say? Not the trolls. The spirit that seems to be at the, the epicenter of this whole thing. And that's what we need you for, to cleave the trolls while, so that they don't interfere with the, uh, you know, with the demonic possession. Whatever, just, just keep it far away from me. Deal. Does your spell, do you have any, as a superstitious, is that a character? As a superstitious, do you have any, I know like you have like spell sunder and things like that. Do you have anything that works specifically against um, possessed creatures? Bonk someone so hard the possession ends. You just kill them. <laughs> That's mostly it. No, because there are some, there are some things that like you can attack or you can do things to, uh, to not impact it. Not possess, I mean, not for possessed, no. Uh, I should have got I should have got soul wrecking strike. Any dispel magic would do it if there's any kind of spell likes that that archetype gets that just when you whap them there's a dispel magic. So technically spell sunder would work, I think. To the SRD away. Alrighty, once per age the barbarian can attempt to sunder an ongoing spell effect. It needs to read uh for every effect from creature barbarian makes one combat maneuver to sunder an effect on a creature that so you would just need to beat senia's cmd plus five and you would 
Like, you'd literally be able to bonk the haunt right out of her. You would have to hit her and do damage to her, but, like... Or, no, no, you wouldn't even. It's just a combat maneuver check. Never mind, I lied. You wouldn't even have to hurt her. There's just a once per so, age you could do the thing. So, my CMD is 25. You'll have to be like, you'll have to beat a 30? Mm. Still, so it's... Which is probably at least doable for the 8th level Barbarian. It's, it's probably, yeah, it's doable. Okay, so if, and she can also try to dispel the possession herself through um, attempted will saves. So, like, worst case scenario, if she's not able to um, expel the haunt herself once we're done with it, and it tries to make her a permanent host, uh, we have a, Kalira might be able to. Well, it possesses uh, me for 24 hours. Right. So I guess we could bind you down and just kind of hold you for 24 hours, but you can also attempt to dispel it early by right. making making will saves. Worst case scenario, though, yeah. Um, we can attempt. So we'll use Spell Sunder will be definitely be the last, last resort. Uh, okay. I think it's a sound plan. We go in. We smash the mist. We kill the zombies. We channel the hunt. So one, two, three. Kind of plan. Indeed, counting by numbers is a good way to set up a plan. Step one, do that. Step two, do not get burned horribly. Step three, and he kind of like moves a little forward. I don't know if you know Kato, and like he's trying to like lean in in such a way that Jubilost can't hear him, but Jubilost has. It's a certain medical condition. It happens to gnomes from time to time. He is suffering from it. He. Let's just say there's reasons he's not afraid to take risks. I don't know what you know. I'm assuming by now some of you have seen this. The poor boy is, well. He's getting old. Look at that. Look at the gray hair. No, god damn it, Kato. No. What's happening to him is his his genetics are not fit for this world. He is originally from another plane. If he does not regularly experience new things, regularly try anything from it varies from gnome to gnome i've known a couple that all they needed to do was put a little more spices in their food every six months and they'd be just fine in some cases well i guess you have to travel across this god's forsaken wilderness and expose yourself to all manner of awfulness and get beat up by an ogre who's swinging an anchor at you or run headlong into trench mist or somebody with pectoral muscles twice the size of my own body he's probably going to keep doing that if you take him out places <laughs> Can I help you, Ghost of Senia? <laughs> uh, I had a mental image of a suicidal <laughs> no, just like running headstrong into danger. That's kind of what he. That's that's kind of what we have. The alternative is he essentially loses. I wouldn't want to go through the bleaching. Let me just say that I. I get it. That said, he probably needs a friend. He probably needs someone to talk to. And maybe he needs to learn how to use his sword a little better if he's going to be following us headlong into the ranks of, again, six foot, seven foot tall, hairy, muscly humanoids with swords twice again as big. To say nothing of if an army of Cyclops, was it, comes bearing down on everything that we have. I digress. Mm. I I yeah. should go prepare. We plan on leaving in the morning, yes? First thing. Good enough for me. And he bows and makes his way back to his workshop. Uh, Senya, before we go, I would like to buy a couple more potions. Okay. Yeah, same. So you guys certainly have time to do that before the night hits, if you want to quickly rebuy new things prep up in different ways do any research questions comments concerns so how uh, much are the uh cure serious potions oh i'll tell you cure serious ones. they are the formula is spell level times caster level times 50 
a potion of cure serious wounds at minimum caster level. Don't you bing at me is 750 gold as a third level Ooh. spell. What about moderate? Moderate would set you back uh, 300. And a cure light would set you back 50. And what's the uh, what's the calc on moderate again? Uh, two d eight plus three. Huh. Other than that, you could also. I hate to advocate for the happy stick, but. A wand of cure light wounds would set you back 750 gold for 50 charges of 1d8 plus 1. As long as someone has the use magic device to fire it off. And I'm betting the occultist can probably figure it out. Yeah, no, that's literally what object reading is, other than hand out the plot to you. Is Yeah, I actually have a, I have a feature that gives me, like, plus half of my level on use magic device. Yeah, so, yeah, you should be... If you can spare 750 gold, grab yourself a wand to... Uh, How much items. does a wand of your moderate? Uh, 4,500. Oof. So, I'll get one serious and three moderate. So that's 1650. Okay, is that potions then? Yeah, All I right. can spare that. Gotcha. Anybody else want to do any purchasing, talking to NPCs, researching all the things that I'm going to do to cause you violent harm? Um, oh, I will take that. You said it was 700 for a wand of cure light. Uh, 750. 750. Yeah. 750. Okay. Okay. So, um, Kalir would uh, uh, probably come to Ionia probably sometime during the during the night. Um, I'd say. Um, uh, look, uh, look, you, you, uh, you understand what is going on with these Hell Knight things, right? Um, I mean, you didn't meet the guy, but, uh, you know, I, I'm not that, uh, not that smart, but I know when something's not right, you know, I, I need someone who can think like they do. Um... I mean, frankly, I'm not comfortable with having them anywhere near us, but I guess the situation is what it is. I mean, you're a spy master, right? Do, can't you do something? Like, can't you figure out a way for us to get some leverage or something on them? We need something. I probably could do that here's my concern is that the hell knights are exceptionally capable at um recognizing when magic is being used on them i would imagine from what our has told me and my fear is that if they catch me spying on them you know all of a sudden i'm the next witch on their hunt um, it's always magic. Always magic. It, it, it doesn't have to be magic, you know. I mean, there, I mean, get, there's ways to get in there without using magic. I mean, they have to bring food in. They have. To, I mean, we're trading with them. Can't can't we get someone in there to get us some information or something? I don't know how these things work. I've been working on building up a network of people to do just that kind of thing, but it's still very small. Um, I'm not fully uh, confident in the capable of the people I've uh, in the capabilities of the people I've rec recruited just yet. I haven't really had a lot of time to train them. Um, it's definitely something that I will take into consideration and work towards but it will take some time um it seems like every time we send people outside of our walls they don't come back 
so I'm I'm a little hesitant to send anybody into the hands of maybe not Concordia's enemies, but my enemies before I know that they are capable. People die, it's going to happen. This is a war. Believe it or not, they may not they may not be they may be acting as our friends now, but I mean no one makes a show like that just to test if they can trust someone. There was there's a there was a point made at that dinner. Trust and believe. And I don't think I don't think it's really setting in on Cato exactly what that point to ease. I suspect you're probably right. Um the Hell Knights are a very powerful order. And they're much older than we are. And I think we need to tread very carefully with them. And don't and, and don't listen to the priests. I don't want to kill them. At least not yet. But I don't I don't like the idea of them treating us like their their pets. I don't I don't like it. It doesn't sit well with me. They're not looking at us as equals at all. I could tell. I, I looked at him the entire time we were at dinner. He was looking down at us, and I know what that look looks like because I've seen it my entire life. I wouldn't expect them to treat us like equals. Like I said, they've been around much longer than we are, and their numbers are much greater than ours. Good. At least, at least someone has some sense about them, and, and, at least in this aspect. You, you still want to talk to ghosts, and that's fucked up. But I'm going to leave now. Okay, so it's when Kalira goes to leave, I think, that I'm going to do this. I gotta, I need to ask really fast. I'm assuming Artorus sleeps in the shrine. Well, sleeps. I'm assuming Artorus is an avatar of the shrine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I am in the shrine, yes. Okay. I'm also assuming Kato's in his castle. This this happening in mm-hmm. the middle of the night. Where is Senia? Uh, she's probably sleeping in her quarters. Where are they, though? Where does Senia live? Yeah. Does Senia live in the castle? Or does she, like, is she someplace else? She's in the castle for the moment, I think. Great. Okay, so that's what we wanted to hear. Artorus, during your vigil... You, I, I'm kind of assuming you haven't slept in a year and a half and you're just keep watch forever. Is that a fair assessment? I, I started working sleep in a little bit, um, uh, when things very briefly calmed down a little while ago. <laughs> okay. I think since then I started, like, I never, that was going to be part of a reflection a little while back, but I never, it didn't make mm. it in. Okay. So our Taurus is sleeping right now, then. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Then I need everyone who is not our Taurus first to make a reflex save. Well, this is my kind of. This is your kind of thing. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how this timing works with my implements. Uh, consider you had rest. Okay, so, um, because I, I refocus them every day. Right. Um, and I'm not sure if they, like, reset when I, like, refocus them, or if they reset after I sleep. Uh, the, like, eight hours of sleep kind of assumes also the get up, brush your teeth, read your spell book kind of rag, which is also when Eonia would refocus. So assume you've done that. Okay, gotcha. Um, then that is a 18. All right, cool. Can I get one from Minoru as well, please? Unless, Me- Unless Minoru so- sleeps. Oh, you're fine. You're not in the castle. You're good. You can go back with your Hell Knights. Okay, so <laughs> Kalira, Ionia, as you're having this conversation, and I'm kind of assuming Senia Kato asleep soundly in your bed, the floor lists, like, dangerously to the left and then gives out and all of you Kato Senia woke up from your sleep down you go somehow I don't know how in God's name Kato makes the reflex save everyone passes but Senia Kato is a very light sleeper I guess as he's able to like hoop and get up and like as he is falling 
dodge most of the castle that immediately comes down behind all of you. First thing that happens is this is a reflex for half kind of thing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Blam. So it's 15 points of damage to Sania and half to everyone else. Kalira is able to just like shoulder check some rubble or something. Minor Ionia probably like in the last couple seconds gets like some kind of danger divination. Just the wheel or woe of Augury just starts pinging woe really, really, really hard in the back of your head. And then down it goes. Then... Uh... Do we round up or down? Actually, for this? actually, I lied. I rolled. So Kato takes no damage. That's good. I realize I grabbed the wrong thing. It's not three d six. It's eight. Uh, you would round. Fortunately, I didn't roll that much better. Uh, you would round always down. So Senia takes twenty. Everyone else takes ten. Kato takes not a damn thing, as he's able to dodge. Nevertheless, all of you are. And then one more reflex save for the actual fall, as all of you drop probably like fifty feet. Have one more reflex save. Six, six, please. God, Senia. Yeah. Senia sleeps really, really hard. That's the. Meanwhile, Kato is still super good. So Kato will take. Let's see here. Kato's like good. Kato. Minoru's good. Yoni is good. So this damage is for everyone but the barbarians. Nine more in fall damage. The barbarians take twenty-four. Jeez. The dice got swingy on that one. Artorus, you are roused from your sleep, probably by the Arbiter, and then immediately after the sounds of, like, the townsfolk screaming at the top of your lungs, you get, like, bits and pieces of it. There are probably people, like, rushing the church, begging for salvation, as Fort Stagrave has been brought down. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Whole, so the whole structure I can visibly see has come down. Yeah, it is. There might be like half of a tower. Maybe. What the fuck? I... Oh, I rush over friend. looking for, for uh, the king. Uh, well, for Ionia first, actually. Okay. And over you rush, there is... It doesn't take a whole lot of time, Arbiter buzzing right behind you. The first thing you probably notice is an arm sticking up out from where someone, you're not sure who, it's hard to tell from here, has not been able to quite pull it out, and they are buried, indeed, under the ruins. Just um, barely beating you there is a... It's hard to say. They're, they're much taller than you, an Uruksi man who is just, like, frantically digging through the ruins of the castle trying to find anybody. Um, I would uh, instruct Arbiter to, to find Ionia, and I would attempt to assist the individual, hopefully not with a strength check, yeah. that is buried <laughs> beneath. Oh. Okay, let me get a... Uh, as I quickly read the rules for cave-in slash collapses... You when had you to like get down there? There's a little bit of a slide and maybe like a third of a stair kind of thing. Oh, it's you, like in a pit. As like the castle has like the floor gave out and the ground gave out. Gave blah, gave out. Words are hard. Can you roll knowledge engineering? Is that a thing you can do? Um, on Akari, <laughs> but not on this character. <laughs> we gotta go grab the burb. Uh, <laughs> as you go a digging. The first thing you find after finding that hand of you and this Iruxi, who's just like, they look at you, they nod, they keep digging it, they're too frantic, they're not talking. A small skeletal hand, only skeletal in of the fact that the skin has been like peeled from the castle coming down, the hand of a kobold. By uh. scale color, it was some kind of like reddish brownish, but has lightened in, our Taurus would know, undeath going digging around that you do also find a wooden beam that has given out this would be where i would call they, for the knowledge engineering check yeah out of character i've pieced this together in character i suppose uh kobolds here what's going on <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah okay so um i would uh, continue my search for either ionia or 
Cato to to report that. Alrighty. If you are not the high priest, if you could make a strength check. Um, am I able to um ma- wrestle one of my enlarged potions out of off my bandolier to drink? <laughs> Is that how you get out? Just Whoa! yeah, you probably could. You could also, right. you could probably also make an escape artist check too. This is oh. just a, all of you. You have no idea what in the hell just happened, but right. Kato, your bed is. There's probably just like the four post is shattered. There are bits and pieces of trash everywhere, and somehow Kato, you managed to. Oh, Ionia, you managed to pull an arm out. Ionia and Minora are probably like on top of each other. Senia, yeah. Senia <laughs> hurt so bad that she, she has no strength left. Yeah. So here's how I'm flavoring this. And because I rolled like over 30, 35, three times in a, well, 35, 20, uh, yeah, insane. 35, 33, and 35 again for my three checks in a row. Kato dodges the, the crashing rubble that comes down. He basically, as the castle falls, he catches himself on, uh, on like one of the the columns as it's as it's you know barreling down you know breaking his fall and preventing him from from crashing and then using his goddamn 35 in escape artist he basically parkours his way through the collapsing castle as it's falling around falling out around him and he actually escapes the castle okay so you don't though. Um, you were buried before... oh was i buried yeah, yeah. even that with was the 35 do- oh. that was dodging damage okay oh i thought i you said i dodged the uh, the falling yeah rubble. you didn't no I mean, evasion, oh, okay. you don't get hit by it, but you are still, like, under the thing. Something, something, okay. mechanics versus mechanics. In any case, fair enough. up you go, popping up your hand, and, like, Artorus, you indeed see Cato's, like, the finery of his bedclothes, I suppose, now tarnished and covered in dirt and torn, like, pop up, squeezing out of the rubble. The Aruxi makes his way over and just, my lord, take my hand! I will grab on tight. And make a fort save. Fort. Oof. As soon as Kato's hand touches, the illusion drops and the lich is standing on top of him. Oh my god! Uh, god damn it. I'm gonna hero point that. Seems good. I think I'll pop us back to... The thing about well, there you go. having a game where there's a map... Uh, well, this is... Probably mostly a theater of the mind ish encounter. Okay, Kato, you as soon as the the hand grasps yours, it's like instantly frigid, horrible, cold. The illusion, like if I say Shang Tsung's its way down, do we all understand? Like it just kind of like runs down from head yep. to foot as he grows, not that much bigger, and just long live the king. And he squeezes down harder, and like all of your joints lock up. Through some miracle, you're the luckiest person you've ever met, and I might be inclined to believe that now as well. You are able to shake it off and are not permanently paralyzed as the encounter starts. If we could roll, and I know I'm going to jam it in basically here now because this is kind of a theater of the mind ish encounter for initiative. Am I still uh, buried with the 15? Yeah, 15 is not quite. You struggle, push. Well then. Really? Nat one. That nat one. So I've rolled one, two, two nat twenties out of four saves. I guess one was a reroll because hero point. So that, so hell hero point well spent. That's why we have them. Alrighty, I need to pop open the soot scale situation. As once again a couple hours into the game and now I actually need to open the book for the game and I've now moved all of my books over to my storage drive and now none of my links work and it's rude uh I say as I brought the castle down on top of the party all right let me just this is the part where I, I display I realized it click on my icon I had it covered by my sheet <laughs> it's all good same 
I'm not a yeah. big deal. I can plug it in really quickly. Uh, Adventure Pale, this King, my care of the Varnhold vanishing, the soot scale situation. That's just <laughs> that's so good. Alrighty. I guess, can anyone in the squad make a knowledge engineering check really quickly while we're doing this? Does anyone have that capability? The only one just went to the bathroom. Uh, I could check uh, her character sheet, but she's AFK right, real quick. I'm assuming Ionia has it. But she doesn't have it trained. Oh, fair. 1,000 booze! She uses it to make the raft. Oh, that's right. She thinks she does. She's almost back. Okay, got it. Okay. She said no. All right, let me grab my Shiteru. Bam. Plugging everybody in. Uh, it's probably good enough, Eonia, uh, to confirm what I think Artorus has probably already figured out. It's very clear the castle has been undermined and you've been done in by kobolds. You're not sure when, you're not sure how long, but given that they were probably undead, they could have been working throughout the night, and given that they're working with a lich, there could have been any matters of, like, stone shaping the passage behind them shut so you never saw them, or silence above them so they're not making sounds as underneath you things have been undermined. Son of a bitch. We have been undermined, literally. But, um... I'll be honest, I briefly thought the Hell Knights did it, because we saw them demolished. <laughs> I didn't do it. Oh, uh, yeah, I thought that's what... Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, I thought no, about that's, it. Uh, All right. It's definitely... Clara, Kato, Sadia's on the board, Yonia, Bam, damn, uh, Bam, and who is, where are my friends, and you go on the board, and who am I missing? The tax yep. man, the man of many crossbows. Yeah. Yeah, at 16, now we know his mod is plus 15. Ioni is rolling in at a 20. Kato, a 18. Kalira, 22. I don't know why I said it that way. Boom, bang. And Kalira, you are... I am checking my dex mod to see if I might be faster than you. I really hate it when Paizo puts... Uh, two. Mine's two. And mine is zero. So, okay, Kalira, you win initiative. You're there. You probably, as you are struggling, pushing through stuff, trying to make any kind of ground upwards, you overturn a rock. And probably like Ionia and Minori were at least within earshot of you struggling and whining and borking, you push a rock over and a kobold corpse lands like on your chest. Meh. What the hell? Oh. I thought I had an excuse to kill Hell Knights. Uh. Uh. Alright. I still have to push my way out though, right? Yeah, still gotta. Mechanically, as we start the fight, Kato is probably prone. Like, he is through enough that he could pull himself up and out. I'll, uh. I was, I was, I raged uh, on that last shot. I'm still raging. I will try pushing again. Alrighty. Uh, strength check, right? Yeah, please. As Kalira continues to fight and struggle and push, and Artorus, you can probably hear a little bit of where Kalira is. Certainly, Ionia can. Meanwhile, one wonders if Stenia isn't still just sleeping. Push through, can't quite get through anywhere. And technically that uses a standard action. I don't know what kind of like swift action abilities you might have or anything like that before I pass turn, so I will leave it to you. Is there anything yeah. else? No, that's it. Alrighty. It goes to me. So Kato, you are like you're able to get your hand out of the grasp of the lich as like your skin begins to just rapidly freeze and just nope. Well, you are much more resilient than I thought. Interesting. I think you'll find I'm full of surprises. 
Will I? Nice. Uh, what do I want to do? Do I just do the same thing? I think I just do the same thing. Second verse, same as the first. Welcome to fighting a lich. I, he will, mechanically, he takes a five foot step back away from Kato and just kind of like waves his hand. If you could make a will save, please. As oh that, boy. That, that image of your dad hung just kind of replaces what you can see of the illusion dropping. Okay. Charmed life on this. Indeed. Okay, good enough. You are still, nevertheless, just able to shake it off. You definitely, you know better. I, I've learned. You have. And then you, Arturus, and Cato both see as I quickly make sure this spell can do what I think it does. I'm pretty sure it can. I just need to make sure it is of the right. Do -ba do Yeah, okay, cool. So the Lich at his waist in his belt, there is this, it kind of looks like it's made of obsidian. In the moonlight, it shines in that similar way. And he reaches his hand down and grabs this, like this rod that's hanging at his waist and it flares up this bright purple light runes run all up and down it and he waves his arm in between uh actually probably just all around himself just like a quick circle around him as that happens the wind picks up almost not like quite like tornado force but everyone's hair uh is disturbed if there's any like bits of paper that are not quite pinned by the rocks and debris they go a flying some of the debris itself does go like swirling around the lich in this mini vortex he has created ionia um minoru and i are still trapped under the rubble right yeah okay um i'm going to cast shield on myself Already. That will be my action. Given that you do not have somatic components, I don't have to be like, well, what's the concentration check for that? But you just have to think um, about it. Think it and so right. it shall be. And um, then can I use movement to try to get out or would it be an action since I'm since I'm like pinned? It's a standard action strength check to try to push your way out, yeah. Or then, escape artist or if you can like dimension door or something, that would do it too. Yeah, I can do none of those things because I cast shield, so Minoru will try to get himself out of the rubble. Okay. But he can do escape uh escape artist or escape check or whatever on that. Uh, strength or escape artist if it's I said escape artist because I assumed Kato's escape artist was much, much better than his strength. In Minoru's case it's probably his strength, but if he's got a rank in escape artist, he could do that too. Yeah, it's actually close. He'll go strength. Despite his best efforts, he pushes and he pushes and everyone on the surface probably sees like a snoot kind of move around in the rubble, but nevertheless, he cannot quite get out. Senia? Um, all right, so Senia's gonna... do her Gemini, Gemini Invoker Rage. What is that thing called? I forget trance she's gonna go into her trance um and she's gonna try and dig herself out again okay sounds good Ugh. you push you push there's probably a bit of like a like a finger comes out but it's still not quite there holy shit that's on an 18 roll so you guys need like nat 20s to get out And Kato. Oh, boy. So there's like a whirlwind of... He's got like this tornado shooting around him, and there's wind blowing, and things are just crazy. So no one else, else has been able to make it out of the rubble as he looks around. Just he you and Arturus is there. Oh, right. My virtue of the fact sees... that he doesn't sleep in the castle. So he's notices our Taurus now, I'll say, as he's looking around, he sees our Taurus and he's like, okay, there's somebody here. He looks back at the Lich. You just made 
the biggest mistake of your life. Points the sword in the lich's direction. This is my home, and I will not let you destroy it any further, vile fiend. He just kind of and... turns and looks kind of in your direction. He's still like, there's just a socket where his eye should be. Yeah, and he's only five feet away, right? Yeah. So I'll five foot step forward Alrighty. towards him. Sounds good. And I will full round attack. Uh, what do I want to do here? Make sure I roll the right sheet. I noticed with my will save, I rolled big Kato's will save. They're the same, so it didn't matter. Yeah. But uh, make sure I'm not I'm not rolling big Kato attacks. So I'm still small Kato right now. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, cool. This is the right sheet. It's hanging. Okay. Before any use of hero points or anything like that, both of those attacks fail to connect. Okay. You like you kind of like fencing with a slashing weapon is weird, but I guess it's kind of like just like come down on his like where his kidneys would be, and in both cases you contact a barrier. It's as if like punching a wall almost that you didn't see was there, and you just bounce off. Is that all the heroes of this age can muster? You should have kneeled. Jerk. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Artoris. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and gleam that this whirlwind he's put up is going to interfere with my arrows in some way. Uh, make a spellcraft check. Okay. Oh. Indeed. The spell he has cast is called Wind Wall. He has put a, a barrier around himself that will cause any ranged attacks that are smaller than a rock or siege engine to automatically, like, you'll hit the Wind Wall and the bolt will just track up and miss. He's also put it, like, over top of himself as well. Just a big anti don't shoot me barrier. Okay. As he sees, well, I guess he can't see. Never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna mock you a little bit, but I don't I know. Know. <laughs> I think you made that. Um, it's a good thing you're not a one-trick pony, right? Oh, you're one to talk. I know. Freaking AC king over here. <laughs> it's a good pony uh, to have the one trick up, though. This is just rude. Um, I guess what I will do is. Have the Arbiter use the Wand of Magic Missiles? <laughs> uh, and uh, do I know where Ionia is? Mm, you might maybe hear Minoru. Okay, but have I heard Kalira? Because basically I need this thing to be dispelled, and I can't do that. Probably so also. Kalira's not someone. quiet. Yeah, I have to imagine. Okay. And probably also Senia. Folks who are rolling in the, like, almost the DC, you can probably see, like, half a hand or, like, a bit of greatsword. I knew I should have taken Dispel Magic. <laughs> Fuck. Um, all right. So, yeah. Uh, I will... Um... No, I'm not going to have our order fire off magic missiles. What I'll do is I will... Um... Attempt to, so if I aid, like if I attempt to aid, uh, like Kalira getting out from under the, mechanically, is that going, how does that look? Uh, you would roll a strength check, you would need to hit a 10. If so, they would get a plus two. Okay. Oh, well, I don't hit a 10 more often than not. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> um... Oh, and yet, I don't really have any other thing I can try, so I will do that. I will run to where I heard uh, Clara uh, attempting to get out, and I will uh, use... Well... Shoot. Actually, no. I'll run to where I heard Minoru and assume that Ionia is nearby. 
I'm trying to stay in character. <laughs> Out of character, I think the spell sunder has a better shot. But in character, I would go over for Ionia, and I will attempt... Uh, uh, if I can get my... Holy shit! Hey, there you go. Okay, clear or that's not clear. That's on Minor. Got it. Clear. You right. Got. Does the arbiter do anything? I should say. Uh, arbiter just uh, backs off, kind of keeps his distance, um, stays. Near. Okay. All right, clear. That again. Can you escape? Do the push. More <laughs> angry pushing and trying your very best. Nevertheless, it's still just, it is more than you can bear. You're doing, you're lucky that you're not in pushing. You're not like bringing more rubble down on your head in the process. That's it for me. All right. Uh, I will. Hmm. <laughs> I am a Cyclops. I can do the thing. Can't I? Can I do the thing? Do I have that Cyclops thing? I have that Cyclops thing. I guess I can go ahead and use it. Yeah, why not? Okay, so Vordekai takes an immediate action. And you, as Kato, as this is going down, like, he begins to encant. He seems so ludicrously confident in the fact that it would never, like, you would not be able to stop him from doing this, that mechanically he does a thing that ensures he rolls a 20. The next time he rolls a d20 so the concentration check is a success he doesn't really want to step out of the wind wall right now if you can make another will save um shit all right uh how many i got two more charmed lives today so i will use my second Ooh. which is a number uh number <laughs> uh, hold on i'm uh, I'm going to use my once uh, my improved iron will one time oh. reroll. On it's not necessary. A 19 is successful. Oh, wow. I had to go back. I'm like, I'm not sure. Is that there? A 19 was exactly what you were looking for. I'll say that. As this time, okay. it's it's real close. It's real unnerving. As he's just like, if you will not kneel, then you will kneel in undeath. And he waves his hand. Apparently to no avail as you're able to still it's like the image is more jarring you probably lock eyes with the illusion of your father for a second there's a just like it catches your breath and you almost almost cry out but you're able to restrain yourself this time I will roll the cast defensively for as he reaches down tags the hanging at his side the the rod that flares up and my caster level is a number that plus oh got it so i could fail but it would be unlikely he does not fail does kato have any kind of like shield anything on him uh i don't have a physical shield no okay. what do you mean like shield? Uh, like the shield spell, spell or like a ring of yeah. force shield or no all right and so then he he magic missiles you as a swift action for 20 points of damage as he just like as that's happening you you dispel the illusion and you just no that's not real and then it's just like in your like around your dome as these little balls of force the size of a tennis ball just like slam into you oh uh, magic missiles my my one weakness something that can get around that dodge bonus it, yeah it does not just 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 hits mm -hmm. hits for uh, free Okay, um, I will, seeing Minoru struggling, um, am I close enough to him that I can, uh, activate his dire collar? Yeah, yeah, probably. A okay. bit of effort on your part, but you can reach over, grab it, turn it. Okay, I will do that, and then Minoru's gonna try to get out again. Fork, fork, fork. Plus two to his strength, minus two to dex, right? Yep. The two from the assist, right? From Esker? Mm hmm. Ooh, yes! Unfortunately. 
Despite Minora's probably a little too confused by the the growing and the moving and the shaking, he kind of just whines a little bit. He he sees our Taurus, and you can probably hear our Taurus and see just a little bit of like his uh like robes and things as you're digging out. And Minora was able to like get his nose up and like sniff 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 our Taurus's direction as our Taurus is frantically like take a rock, move a rock. Ah crap, two more rocks fell over, and just keep doing that kind of thing. And if that is all, Osenia. All right, once more with feeling. Uh, hold on. Once more with feeling. We wait. Checking to see if there's a to feeling. She's checking her totem power to see if there's anything that can help her here, but doesn't look like it. All right. So strength, strength check. It is indeed. Check this net twenty. Uh, I can't. Womp 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 womp. All righty, Kato. <sighs> Goddamn magic missiles. All right. So I'm still like I'm singed. And I'm pissed. You're gonna have to do better than that, fiend. And I will... Dun, dun. Let's see what, if I have any other tricks up my sleeve right now that will actually work here. So... Was he? F the lich is floating, right? Kind of like a couple inches off the ground. He is not mechanically like he's walking, but he has. Does he have legs? Yeah, they're very atrophied, but legs there are. Oh, okay. I'm just curious how like trip would work on such a creature. Yeah, you could totally do it. I could actually do. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see if that's the. I think a combat maneuver here might be the way to go, to at least. Disarm, dirty trick, repulsion, or steal. All right, I'm going to use. Okie dokie. I'm going to attempt to trip him. So that's a standard action, right? Mm -hmm. That maneuver standard. Yeah, OK. So question before I do that, before I do the trip attempt, um, if, I deny, if I deny dex bonus to AC, does that also deny it from um, CMD? Yes. OK. So as my move action, I'm going to attempt to faint. Okay, sounds good. So bluff check. Oof, bad roll, bad roll. Alrighty, I will make the roll for his sense motive public because I think I need to. Holy shit! Is that oh. higher than our? Uh yeah. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I hope that I'm to that point someday. <laughs> God damn. Okay, well the chance of me. Uh, fainting this guy is, is nothing. So that's but... why that intimidate didn't stand a chance. I understand now. <laughs> I was like, I hit a forty on that intimidate. That should have been good enough. No. And that was nothing. Oh my goodness. Intimidate him the first time we fought. Yeah, intimidate is opposed by a it's a DC, whereas opposing a, uh, a bluff with a sense motive is it's much easier to intimidate him than it is to to fake him out. Combat wise, right? So. Mm. So that's a 37 on my trip because of the plus two from more Death importantly Universe. it's a 20 and it's an attack Brand. so it and he goes down you reach through the wind your hand kind of like blows up and like you grab behind his knee and pull and down he goes yeah. i'm good for me good for you so the wind is on a point it's not on him yeah is that right? just like a box around him okay Bull rush. 
That, that seems like the Artorus thing to do. Just like... I'll bull rush him, try and, and knock him bull over. Rush him, push, push him out of the... Yeah. Or now that he's down, run over and grab him by his leg and drag him out of the wind wall. I, is that all for Cater, then? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Artorus! I will... Um... Forgot that I gave... Uh, that we made uh, Arbiter the... What's that? Arc uh, the Divine one. Uh, um, uh, God damn it, I know the one. I play it all the time. And that he can has his guidance, basically. Yeah, he has guidance so, in a domain, but I can't... Jesus, what is that archetype called? Emissary. Is, there it is. That's the one. Uh, is guidance... What kind of bonus is that? Uh, plus one competence to uh, ability check or skill check. It would make it easier for you to do the thing. Okay. Um, so I couldn't, like, guidance Minoru and aid? Uh, yeah, no, you could. All right. Let me... I'm going to go ahead and try that. Uh, so from from Arbiter, uh, guidance on Minoru from uh, me. <laughs> Another strike. Oh, Oof. Uh, do I hero you... point that? That's so stupid. You could. No, I... Yeah, if I guidanced myself, I would have. <sighs> well, Minora's got a plus one anyway. But can Kalira do a push? Come on, Kalira. We need you. All right. The Lich is going to roll the cast defensively twice. And pass both using the final as he reaches down. He doesn't seem to mind. Like, as he goes down, his body connects with, like, stone all over the place. And it obviously, like, if he was a people, he would have thrown his back out. But he's a zombo, so he doesn't much seem to care. Reaches down, grabs the rod, it flares up. And then this time when it stops glowing, there's, there's a sense of finality to it. Like, there's a bit of a... The magic kind of flares outward and then dissipates like a firework going off, that kind of thing. Both of those were successful. I will point the first one at Kato for 20 damage. Is Kato still standing? Yeah. 18 more. Okay. And Ionia and the Doggo. Vordekai at this okay. point is like not talking. Just there are rapid fire, little tiny pinpricks of light slamming everywhere. Um, if I understand correctly, I can share spells, but not spell-like abilities, right? I believe so. Okay. Um, in that case, I will cast shield on Minoru, and he's going to try to get out again. Alrighty, he's got a plus one. Twenty is still you push you push frantically at this point. Artor is still just kind of like digging, but probably does more harm than good. And <laughs> Senia. Oh, Senia. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kato, unless unless you want a hero point, it I should say that. I, mean, I don't want to waste my hero point on this. <laughs> All right, Kato. It's a, we're we're. we're... Thunderdome with a lich. All right. So now that he's he's prone, what I get a big bonus on attacking him, right? Yep. You got a plus four to hit him. All right. So I will f full round attack. I'll take plus four. Oh my god! That's with the plus four. That I rolled a six and I'm like. Well, the second uh, attack hits. Okay. Well, that's if good. only just the first one, like you swing in and there's still this barrier that seems to be like tracking your blade and catching it like a catcher's mitt. The second one, you're able to like swing around and jab in. Of course, much like before, his damage reduction overcome by bludgeoning absorbs a considerable amount of it. But that doesn't mean parts of him don't Thanos away as you stab in. Oh, wonderful. All right, that's that's all I got and now. He's still in the sphere, right? Like the wind? Yeah, he just moved one square down. Oh, 
kill this dude. And I don't have the means to push him out of it. Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Damn it, I should have taken Dispel Magic. <laughs> Alright. I will continue to attempt to uh, get Minoru out. Um, I'm going to do the same thing before. Arbiter Guidance, me, Strength Check. Okay, there we okay, go. Okay, there it is. So it Minoru, is a... Minoru will have that sweet plus two. Oh, Kalira, can you do a push? You cannot do a push. Oh. <laughs> What God damn it. Indeed. Hmm. What do I do? How is Kato looking right now? Never mind. Um, don't tell me. I have no means of. I'm blind right now. I have no clue. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I can't do a lot of my spells. So I think what I'll do is. Mm. Hmm. 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 Do I need to touch you for that? I think I do. The wizard needs to check his spell book. Classic. You hate to see it. I wanna is that a touch or is that a range? I forget. Uh creature touched. Okay, so there is a chance that he could miss. First I'll roll the cast defensively or lose the spell. Never mind. Ooh. I've gotten the one out of the RNG. Maybe someone can get up out of there. Okay, let's try this again. Um this time I think we are both trying to get out. Okay. Yeah. Let's both try to get out. Okay. Can Minoru use acrobatics? Strength check or escape artist. He's not trying to like jump a thing. He's just trying to be a, a wiggle worm in whatever way possible. With plus three, so I don't think that makes it right. Uh ha. What I'll say with plus three is if Ionia were to aid another, because aid another stacks and push Minoru, Minoru would be up. Can I do that? You can. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll try that. And Ionia is able to, like, the nose gets out, Minoru borks real hard, Ionia, you see he's almost got it, and you just, you push real hard, and Minoru is able to enter the combat. A standard action down, bork, out comes a dog the size of a horse. That's everything for us. And Senia. At this point, I feel like it's an exercise in futility, but here I go oh. again. Don't don't doubt yourself. Kato. Kato. All right, I'm going. I'm I'm swinging for the fences again. Okay. He's still prone. Yeah, he is not taking any effort to get up at all. Yeah. Okay, both of those connect. Carving through a ledge. As you sort do. of attempting to. Plus 26 plus 27 minus that from his DR. A lot of it just kind of bounces off. Some cases you like, you shore through a bicep and connect with like the stone and bounce off. In some cases, it doesn't seem to really bother him much. He kind of just like lays there, almost like pantomiming sleep, rolling around, just, oh, help. I cannot escape. I'm trapped under the rubble because I decided to side with Cato Sicarius instead of Vordecai. And now he said his name out loud, and we can get past that. But. <laughs> Anything else? Nah. It's all. It's going to be a shame when. This wall finally does come down, and he's prone and gets advantage on all my, or I, like I have effective like uh, a trouble hitting him, right? Because yeah. he's prone and I'm from range. Mm. Yeah, prone actually has a positive in this against you. Um. Okay. So uh, to be clear, did um when Minoru got out, did that like clear away for Ionia, or is she still trying? Or is that none of my business? Uh-oh. I think we lost to Tommy. Hello? Tommy, no! Not like this. 
This isn't how it's supposed to end. And everything. Okay, so, so in fact, but... it is none of your business. Ha -ha. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, she would need to make her own strength check. Uh, certainly, Minoru could aid and aid another stack. So the more people that get out, the more people can start digging folks out. Perfect. So I will. I will do the same thing on uh, now on uh, Ionia directly with strength and. All right. Oh, Kalira. Oh, you love. Oh, you. Yeah. Mm. You can do it, Kalira. You're the one person who can get out of this rubble on your own, or should Ooh. be able to. It's close. You keep dancing real, real close to it, but nevertheless, try as you might, still just trapped under there. How many level one spells do I have? I have a few. I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd like to roll better than 15 one time. One time. Alrighty, rolling to cast defensively. Never mind. <laughs> oh, there's oh, two. Nice. And there's another magic missile gone into the ether. And Eonia. God. It's the only thing keeping me alive are these ones right now. Okay. Um. So, Minoru will aid me. Okay. Wildly and successful. I, so, I have right now plus five. Mm -hmm. Plus two from... Yeah, okay. Um, and Wait, then I'm going... Me, right? I failed my thing. Oh, he uh, failed. Three. So yeah. I have plus three. Mm. Okay. In that case, I'm going to sudden insight to give myself plus four is what I currently have. If I calculate that right, let me double check. Yep. Equal to have here. Okay. So that's going to be plus seven. Okay. I believe. There we go. And I believe she's out. You suddenly realize it. You get that meme of the math spirals everywhere. Fibonacci intensifies, and you're able to just poof right out. Minoru grabs your arm, pulls you the rest of the way. One standard action and swift action down. Anything else? That is going to be everything for me. All right, Senia. Let's see another six. You, you mock me, sir. <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> Great time for you to. I mean. All right, Kato. See you at 16. I raise you at 16. <laughs> Got me by 10. I feel like just this, this flailing competition that's going on right now is. You guys are kind of just doing slap hands back and forth. Yeah, pretty much. He's trying to cast and failing miserably. I'm swinging, doing very little. Feels like. But, I mean, what else can I do? Because I keep stabbing. Um... Let's see if I got anything else we can do here while he's on the ground. Sorry, give me two seconds. No, by all means. Well, I suppose while that's happening, Arturus, if you have any bright ideas about what your next move is. I'm, yeah, so free action. I'm going to tell Ionia that there's the, I'm going to basically explain the spell that just ha that he has protecting him and, and ask for her to dispel it. Um, and then I'm going to go to uh, where I hear uh, Kalira and um, guidance. She'll, she'll have to roll a save on. She would. Against Arbiter. Uh, that's gross. Um, and guidance wouldn't help what? Ionia. Oh, okay. Uh, that's 14. Unless it's enchantment, then it's... 16. Uh, guidance is, it is a, yeah. A, yeah. I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, all right. So I wasn't 
ready to declare that yet, but oh, if, he, okay. if you rolled it, I'll uh, it's fine. We'll just take we'll just go with it. Let me bring the arbiter sheet up. That was my turn, and that is my fail. Got it. Yeah, both oh, miss. Got another low roll out of the way. I suppose. You gotta you gotta get those low <laughs> rolls out the RNG so the barbarians can make it before they start taking more damage from being stuck under the ground for a minute. Um, let's see. That was with. So that was eleven plus something, right, Tibor? Uh, yeah, it was eleven plus uh, plus five, sixteen. Okay, yeah, it handily beats Arbiter's uh, spell DC. So the guidance does not work, but I will attempt to aid Tibor. Actually, uh, really, really quickly, really quickly, guidance is not an enchantment; it's a divination. Oh, okay. It still fails, but that's okay. good down to fourteen. Um, and then I will attempt to. Okay, nice. All right. Okay, Kalira. Now you've got people helping you. Ooh. Nope. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. All right. C is for cast defensively. That was the DC that I needed. Wow. Son of a... 19 damage to Kato. Ionia, you're on. Oh. Okay, how far away is Lich from me? No, perhaps like... 80 feet? I'm gonna say you can see him. He's probably in like long-ish range. Because like Kato is in bed, you are in a side room somewhere with Kalir. Probably like a... Mm, as the owlbear flies like 150 feet or so. 150, great. Okay, I can reach him. Um, I will use my Dispel Magic. Alrighty. This is a d20 plus my caster level, right? You got it. Caster level would be 8. Mm hmm. And DC 11 plus caster level of me. Was it a wand or did he cast it? He physically cast it. I know Ionia has not been the best at flavoring these, but if she would like to. Mm, you want to flavor it for me? Uh, uh, sure, I guess. Yeah, you just kind of like wear, spell, wind, bad, waves your hand. The wind just kind of... A faint image of an imperial dragon makes its way like around the wind, riding around up the cyclone, and then there's like this burst of golden fire, and the wind wall is dispelled. Um, and... Uh, I will tell me Noru to um, wait by me for a moment. Um, well, how far? It, you said 150? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start running toward him. Um, I can make it, I think, just like 30 feet. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Oru will just stay at my side within that, that 30 feet as well. Um, and he will take the dodge action is that a thing in pathfinder that i get pathfinder not... in D sometimes mm -hmm. um he can he can be like uh evasive or something though right total he can, defense he can fight defensively for a minus one to hit but a plus two to his ac but it wouldn't help his saves or his ability to dodge a fireball or things like that okay. um yeah just just whatever to i don't know make him harder to hit while he's away over here Okay, sounds good. Senia! Push. Kato! Oh. So, Yonia, as you're run you and, and, and Minaru are running towards um, the Lich, as you get closer, you see a bright flash of light, and you see Kato crumple into a, like a, into a ball as he goes down. Ah, oh, he's been down this whole time. Do you want to use your hero point? I already used it. All right, fair enough. Our Taurus. I, so I, I was just waiting until my turn to make it dramatic. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I, uh, well, he's blind, so invisibility doesn't do anything. I will, um, ooh. Do I spend the time to do all my like pregame with my do channel? Pregame now. 
Uh, where do I just shoot? I suppose one um, thing. One thing I should ask. I screwed this up the last Vordekai fight, but I also forget what you have. Do you have sniper's goggles yet? Right, we did screw that up. I do not. So, so you need to no be within attack. thirty feet to yep, attack him. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's. I noticed that afterward too. Um. So what I will do is. Sob. No, I'll. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and so I've seen Kato go down, and since I'm over near Minoru, well, how far away from uh, Minoru and uh, Ionia it was slash is Clara, like in, in perhaps like five feet, ten feet. Oh, okay, close. Um, I will. So we're pretty far away. I'm gonna go ahead and. I couldn't even make it to Kato to get him up if I wanted to teleport. To teleport would be 80, and then I didn't realize you were down or I would have done this. I wasn't down until his, just his most recent attack. OK. Uh, teleport, then stabilize as well. Not nearly nearly close enough. Okay. And even then, he, if he uses hero point, he's stable. He's he's down at minus one and stable. He didn't he didn't have a hero point to use because he used it earlier on the. Yeah. I, the oh. Yeah. Two. I said I, I don't have a I don't have a hero point oh, to spend. In, in to that save. case, if you would make a Constitution check really quickly, and what is your negative value? Yeah, negative is da 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 da. da. I misheard that. That's my B. It's all good. Actually, it's all terrible right now, but it's all so shit. So I meant, I meant, I meant <laughs> negative, negative two. Okay. Get points. Right so now. then, make a con check with a. You're shooting for a ten, and you take a minus two. Fort, fort, no, or, just, or oh, con. Just con. Yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. See if Cato can stabilize on his own, which he can. Okay. Cato is stable at minus two. Okay. And Arturus. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, um, since I am at this distance, I'm going to go ahead and uh, channel Vigor myself, giving myself and um, that's my uh, main action. And then as my, um, I'm getting 5e terminology confused, Swift, I'm going to uh, use uh, Bane Weapon against Undead. And then as my move action, I'm going to study target the Lich and then... Arbiter will guidance Clara again. So Clara, if you want to make a will save, followed by a strength check, basically. And once again, it fails. So no plus one. But can she push out on her own? God damn. She cannot push out on her own. Our two barbarians are just flailing in the dirt right now. It's hilarious, but not really. So hilarious in a we're so screwed kind of way. Passes to the lich. There's kind of a bit of a like fumble, fumble, fumble as like he can hear that Kato's not moving and he stands up. He, mm, no, no, he doesn't stand up. It would be more important that he does not use that action. He Come on. <laughs> fumbles around a little bit until he finds a body and he connects with like whatever Kato is wearing and like tags him on the shoulder and that part of the clothing now no longer exists. It's just like pff, gone. All of you stop resisting or the king dies. Ionia. Hey. Give me a second. Um, my wand is a touch range, right? Uh, wand of what? Cure, uh, cure... Yeah. Wounds? It would indeed. Fuck. Um... This is this is so tough. Um, can I insight to see if 
I think the Lich would view me helping Kalira or Senya out of the rubble as resisting. Ah. Uh, probably, he, in a mechanical sense, he has a ready coup de gras on Kato. For you're not sure what, but basically you can, you can probably be like, don't harm him, don't do anything untoward that direction, that kind of thing. Helping Kalira is probably fine. Moving closer to uh, Kato, probably less so. Um, To get to Kalira, would that be moving closer to Kato? That would be backing away. Okay. Um... Fuck. Accurate. Okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll say... Um... I'll say... Don't hurt him, but let me help the others. They'll die under the rubble. Um, By all means, <laughs> please bring Kalira to me. How convenient. Um, I will go, me and Midoru both will go help Kalira out of the rubble. If if uh, she's within 30 feet of me, I'll be able to make it. If not, it'll just be Minoru. Yeah, you should be fine. So with... Aid another is successful. Aid another is successful. So Clara will have a plus four when it comes around to Clara. But Senia. But Artorus. I'm holding my action to see if if it makes an aggressive movement to like attacking Kato or I see it charging a spell on Kato, I'm going to unleash a volley, but for now I'm holding my... At the moment it has just like its clawed undead hands. It's like, it tagged a shoulder, found a shoulder, nuked some clothes, and they're kind of just like over top of Kato's head in such a way that if you were to push down, he would be in contact, but right now, I guess down is wibbly wobbly. We're both on the ground. To push right. forward, you understand. Yeah, so... This is this just like a passive, like touching him does this, or is this like a spell? Uh, no, this is held a coup de gras. Yeah, he has an attack action with his like. If you if a lich touches you, it does the bad thing basically. It's just if he touches you, okay. Yeah, so like mechanically, he has a touch attack, which you can use like a weapon to coup across somebody. In yeah, the same way, uh, you okay. can use a sword. I will. Yeah, again, I, I'm I'm gonna hold my action. Hi, right, Clara. It's four plus four. Can you make it? I don't even want to look at the... Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. He... He... Oh, yeah. Um... The, the Lich takes no actions on the Lich's turn and continues just holding the action and just waiting, listening. I will just do the same thing. All right, that's plus fours. But can Senia break out? Technically, I think one of these rounds, Senia was stunned, but you've rolled so bad that it's fine. Uh, Senia's giving up on... And Kato's down, or Taurus is still holding action. Yeah. All right. At the top of the round, the wind wall has been dispelled, but that was my timer. Ten rounds have passed. If you are a barbarian, essentially, you take... At the top of the round, Senia, Kalira, it's five points of non-lethal damage, as, like, all of the moving and pushing has... It started to exhaust you, and... Things are falling on your chest, pushing down. It's hard to breathe. If you had two more, it would be successful, Clara. <laughs> I can't roll over 15, man. You can't roll over. If you used your hero point, you'd pop out. It feels like bait when I say it that way. It is 251. I don't want to say it that way, but... <laughs> oh, my rage at this point. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know I could use it, but as a plus five, I knew that earlier. Oops. So should that be higher on its own then? Oh. Huh? 
The, yeah. Okay. In that case, you don't need to use your hero point. And Calera, with the help of Ionia and Minoru, you do burst free using your standard action, finally breaking out, screaming, panting, carrying on. Kato's on the ground. The Lich is on the ground. The Lich is going to, like, push down into his head. Calera, so good of you to join us. What? What is this? This is what happens when you do not bend your knee to the better ruler. This is what happens when you align yourself with, and he kind of like pushes his hand a little into Kato's hair and some of the hair burns away. This petty bandit, no better than anything else that's come through here. But it's not too late. Bend your knee, kneel before Vordekai, I might even spare the townsfolk. You want me to bend the knee to you, and then what? You kill us anyway? No. You are more useful alive. I cannot go walking through the towns of this new world looking like this, and I only have so much magic, you understand. Need I remind you, I will also be more than happy to bring back your children. What do, you, what do you want from me? From you, your fealty, service, your sword arm. My generals are attacking the walls as we speak. That doesn't mean I couldn't use one more. You have it in you. Word of your exploits has run even farther than these. Any kind of like vaguely motions with one hand at like all around with his other hand still on Kato. These, what do you call them, stolen lands? The Butcher of Concordia. Zuriel herself, the horseman of war, rides with, and he began kind of like gestures towards Kato. I just think your talents are wasted. That's all. I mean, you're not wrong, but this is my plan, and I'm going to see it through to the end. If you want to kill someone, come at me. Ionia takes a step away. Ionia just gets out of fireball formation real quick. Okay, is there anything else from Kalira? I don't think I can do I cannot move. Uh, I'm not you could move closer, but there's been that, like, you could hear the stop fighting or I kill Kato bit. There are some things you could do that would cause me to coup de gras the king. It basically falls to you. Well, I don't, all I have is a movement. Mm. Mm. What if I just stare at him real hard? Okay, got it. Stare at him real hard, then make a will save. His hand moves away from Kato. I gotta make a will save? Yeah, and he waves his hand in Kalira's direction. Fine, so be it. Kill the priest, bring me his head. And did I get the dominate this time? Did I get that dominate person? So it's a 15. You've got a plus three versus spells, and then a further plus two because half elf, because I'm sure this is an enchantment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 15 would fail you even with with all the buffs it misses it by one you so you could hero point it if you wanted guess that's what we'll do you think you saved it my <laughs> <laughs> bad because i'm gonna hey, you're welcome look at not the board does clear get dominated i'm gonna use my hero point you roll. Ooh. <laughs> what like... the fuck was that? All you know what? Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. That's that's reasonable. That's a very reasonable thing to think. As like it washes over your head, and yeah, no, this guy's got a really good point, and you've lost, and the fop is dead, and if you just bring him the blood priest's head, certainly it'll be fine for you, and you shake it off, and full of the rage and the superstition, 
Ionia, you're on. He will take his move action to, to stand up at this point. He no longer mechanically has the action economy to have a readied coup de gras. And what do you do? Um, okay. I'm going to cast Quickness on Minoru. Um, and gosh, I don't want to send him in yet. Um, oh, maneuver. What? So well, last time. The Minoru maneuver. It worked so well last time. Uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to give Minoru Quickness and. Okay. Gosh, how how far? I'm still like 120 feet away from Kato, right? Yeah, not close. Please come up with a better name than Minoru Maneuver for this. <laughs> I mean, I've watched um... enough My Hero now that it's got to be Minoru. I can't not see his namesake. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna quickness him and and play it cool for now. But more importantly, the last roll of the session, Senia, hello. Never mind. And that is where we're... Well, we'll, we'll let Artoris go. Artoris and Kalira can both go. Uh, It might make more sense to end the session, though, because I'm probably going to... I need to think about what I'm going to do. <laughs> or do we all need to take five to think about our tactics? Fair yeah. enough. All right, cool. Thank you guys for watching. I spent two weeks trying to be like, Vordekai is going to come to life. What do I do? Do I pull the castle into the tusk water? No, I can't do that. It's not close enough. Do I do hmm? And we eventually decided on, why not nuke them with kobolds? I have so many. Will they survive? Will Kato survive? Will, will Senia be able to get more than a pinky out from the rubble? Tune in next time. And we'll see just what happens. Till then, be sure to like and subscribe for more stuff, and we will see you around. Sven, we miss you. Say bye, guys. Bye. See ya, Sven. See ya.